He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawon'twait.com. At Bet365, we don't do ordinary. We believe that every sport should be epic. Every basket, every game, every point, every play from the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. Whether it's a three-pointer at the buzzer to tie the game or a player goes two for two at the foul line. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary at Bet365. 21 plus only. Must be physically located in Arizona. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text next step to 53342. Come join American Furniture Warehouse and see our amazing deals on sofas, sectionals, recliners, bedroom furniture and mattresses, dining room furniture and accessories. AFW has the latest styles, largest selection and lowest prices anywhere. Our warehouses are full and ready for you to take your new furniture home today. At American Furniture Warehouse, you'll find the perfect items for your space at a price you'll love. Visit one of our three Phoenix area showrooms or shop online at AFW.com. AFW.com. For the latest from the world of golf, tune in every Saturday morning from 6 to 8 for the Golf Shop Radio Show, presented by PlayGolfMyrtleBeach.com, the golf capital of the world. Hosts Mark Greenhelch and Matt Blanchard talk golf from tee to green and everything in between. If you like golf, you're going to love Golf Shop Radio. Before you tee up, drop on in. Welcome to the Golf Shop, here on 1580 and 99.3, The Fanatic. Hey, everybody, it's Mark Asher, back to tell you about my great friends at the Lund Mortgage Team. Did you know that the Lund Mortgage Team was founded back in 1999? That's right. They're celebrating 25 years in existence this year. And you know what you have to do to stay in business that long? You have to be good at what you do. And the Lund Mortgage Team is not just good. They are great. They have helped thousands of people save thousands of dollars over those 25 years here in the Valley of the Sun. They only lend in Arizona. And they're mortgage brokers, which means they can shop your rate around. They're not tied to just one set of rates. Mortgage rates can get crazy. They can get high. They can get low. There's good times to strike, and there's times to stay on the sideline. Let the Lund Mortgage Team be your coach, be your team leader when it comes to these huge decisions. Call 623-875-9940. That's 623-875-9940. Or you can always check them out at lundmortgage.com. Great website with all the tools you need. Call them today. They're my great friends, and you'll love them. It's the Lund Mortgage Team. K2FN, also transmitting at K25 CDV at 99.3 FM. K24E, you follow the hills at 95.9 FM. 1580 and 99.3, the fanatic. All right, people, settle down. Because it's time. Time for what? Showtime. When does it start? Right now. Three, two, one. Let's get on with the show. Let's do it. Hi, everybody. It's Wednesday here on the Daily Blender. I'm your good friend, your radio pal, Jeffrey O'Brien, alongside Randy White. Got Keon Rose in the control room, and you guys are on the Fanatic text line, 888-368-1580, as we broadcast live in the Harmon Solar Studios in Scottsdale. And I think we'll just pick it right up where we left off last night. I wasn't here, uh, but uh, some stuff happened right at the end of the show last night that you guys didn't even get to talk about, yeah, and that's yeah, the uh, Arizona yeah. Diamondbacks picking up Jordan Montgomery on a $25 million deal. So yeah, yeah. Uh, tell us, Randy, uh, how good or how dumb is this? Uh, well, this is a great move because it's a very team-friendly contract. It's a vesting uh, interest type of right. contract. In other words, if Because Scott gets... Boris does not know how to uh, advise his clients. Well, uh, apparently he does uh, because I, I think uh, Jordan Montgomery was looking for a much bigger contract. And when all the chips fell... And it, it, you got into, uh, you know, now they're breaking spring training. They're moving on into the uh, to the regular season. 
it became obvious Jordan Montgomery was not going to make that nine-figure type contract well, then, he was looking for. Then that does mean that Keon Dright, Scott Boris, blew it. Well, I, I don't know that he blew it, and I don't know if the, I, I don't understand why they didn't pick him up. But uh, the bottom line is we're here to talk about the Diamondbacks. They got a good contract on him. If he goes ten starts, uh, he, he'll get a uh, an amount of money. If he goes to fifteen starts, if he goes up to twenty starts, uh, he will get uh, twenty five million dollars. It's a one year contract. It's a vesting interest type of contract. But this is really going to put a an exclamation point on this Diamondbacks rotation because you got Zach Gallon at the front, you got Merrill Kelly in the two spot. Now you can put uh, Eduardo Rodriguez in the three spot. He'll fill in there nicely. And then you put in uh, Jordan Montgomery, who, by the way, down the stretch uh, for Texas, he started the year with St. Louis last year. Uh, he had uh, he was I think it was eighth in ERA. Uh, overall, and he had uh, something like uh, 166, 168 uh, strikeouts over 188 and two third innings. Uh, he posted a, a career best 3.20 ERA uh, uh, over last season completely. And during the run in the in the uh, World Series, uh, he was uh, uh, almost lights out. Uh, he only gave up five uh, base on balls. He got a, a win in the World Series. Uh, seven shutout innings, uh, and he was uh, amazing during that run for Texas. So uh, you've got an, an experienced pitcher. You're not paying, you know, a lot of money for him. Uh, and and uh, who knows? Uh, this this could be the ex- exclamation point the Diamondbacks needed on this uh, on this uh, 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 rotation. So great to hear we got a great deal and a great player. But what I was talking about was Scott Boris. Uh, Keon brought up to me when we talked earlier. Uh, I guess Cody Bellinger, Matt Chapman, Blake Schnell, uh, you know, uh, had to get short-term well, contracts yeah, when they were looking yeah. for long-term contracts because Boris had them uh, holding out for something better. And then well, uh, they looked at the calendar and said, whoops, uh, we were getting something, anything. Well, yeah, I mean, I, they, they've got to get back into baseball. Blake, Blake Snell, I think uh, if he proves himself worth it again this season, uh, it, it, he signed a, a pretty good contract with the Giants. And uh, I think if he if he's a standout again this year, I mean, look, he's the Cy Young Award winner in the National League and the guy's going to pitch well if he stays healthy, uh, if he doesn't have any issues and he and he uh, continues with this type of form that he had uh, last season. I I think the Giants will extend him long term. Meanwhile, uh, uh, Jordan uh, 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 Montgomery, I I feel like this kid uh, could be extended by the Diamondbacks if he comes in here. And he and he participates well with this uh, with this uh, pitching rotation. He adds to it, and uh, he really is a guy I, I think that the Diamondbacks can lean on. Uh, let him go long into games, and I think maybe the Diamondbacks ended up you know, end up uh, uh, extending him. They're not just going to go out and pay, you know, two hundred million dollars uh, uh, like they did for uh, uh, for Granke and uh, like they did for Madison Bumgarner. They're just not going to do that anymore. Uh, they they've got to be smart with what they do with this team. And I think Mike Hazen has uh, got himself an award-winning uh, a contract uh, for Jordan Montgomery. I- I'm happy to see him. I think it's really interesting that this kid, uh, he-, he won a World Series with the yeah. Rangers against yeah. the Diamondbacks. And then if the Diamondbacks win the World Series this year, he wins two World Series in a row yeah. with different teams. The same, uh, you know, he had been, it's just kind of weird. I mean, I'm yeah. not, I'm not saying that I think the Diamondbacks are going back to the World Series this year. I'm not, uh, I'm not offering up any guarantees of a win, but I'm just saying if it were to happen, that would be pretty interesting for pretty, Jordan yeah, Montgomery. Cool. Very cool. What you it? like how yeah. I put that disclaimer on there? Just so I got I a like big that. old bag of shut the F up to Donnie when he starts yeah. to uh, talk yeah. some crap later. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, I just do love it when I see him uh, you know, trolling everybody because it always <laughs> falls back right in his face in the form of karma where his teams uh, implode things happen bad for his Vikings or for his wolves or for whoever the hell he likes. I, but I know he likes the Diamondbacks though. That's the only one. So he's yeah. probably like, Oh, that's just some the wisdom I've not, I've just heard. Oh my God. Yes. Of course the Diamondbacks are going to the world series. Oh, that's just amazing. <laughs> you have to forgive me. I'm a little bit out of sorts. I, uh, I, I suffered uh, something this weekend that uh, nobody should ever have to suffer. Uh Oh, 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 and it's the things that you do for your children. Oh, oh, okay. We're going that way. I thought it was so, something. Else. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. My my kids are in track and field. 
you know, they are, they're yeah. runners and, yeah. and stuff. And, and so they, there was a track meet that, uh, that they were excited about because at uh, this track meet, they got to run with uh, other high schoolers and also with collegiate, uh, runners, you know, it was a, a high school slash college track meet. All people right. there, people were there from GCU. People were there from New Mexico. People were there from all over the place. And, um, well, it was, it was in Tucson. Oh no. It was I'm at U sorry. of A. I had oh. to actually oh. go to U of A, hand somebody $9. I had to pay $20 for a Coke and some nachos. I had to go to U of A. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. I'm surprised you, uh, I'm surprised you, uh, partook of anything down there nachos cokes it just doesn't make any sense to me well i had i got hungry uh, you know so i i walked in the place i found uh, my son and then i went he's like i gotta go bathroom i'm like oh if i'm gonna be here i'm gonna have to have something to eat and oh, so we went down and then when we came back up they're like okay we're, it's time to go what mm. you know, yeah they, it was over for them so they got to leave early i didn't even have to buy the nachos or the coke i oh. had no idea but it was just more like it there. And also they're like, did you pay to get in? I'm like, yeah, this is, Oh, if you got in that entrance over there, cause you're part of the family for this and that you, it was free. Oh, so you got the uh, two strikes. What was the third strike, Jeff? <sighs> there was none. I got the hell out of town. Well, <laughs> as, kids were like, <laughs> as you could. Yeah. Kids were like, uh, F Tucson, let's go. And they yeah. jumped in the car and we drove away. That was it. Um, yeah, yeah, that was, uh, did you at least throw the nachos on the field? No, oh, I ate the hell out of the nachos. Oh, I had to eat oh, them. Okay, they, they became uh, they became road nachos at that point. That's a fair point. I mean, I could you don't throw the, away nachos. Was it Coca Cola? Was it real Coca Cola or was it cocaine cola? I was in a good mood when we left, so probably cocaine mm. cola. Mm. See, so, so anyway, I, I just I suffered that uh, for my kids. I would I would not suffer that for anyone else. And also about uh, the entire uh, hour and a half home. Uh, I made my children promise a blood oath that they will never attend you, Arizona. And they agreed. Okay. All right. So there's that. They agreed. So, so something good came out of it. Yeah. My son said, unless I become an uh, intravenous uh, drug user, because he says, ah, I saw a lot yeah. of needles on the ground yeah. and they were yeah. free. Well, uh, yeah. so I'm I, like, well, okay, I understand that. But don't ever become that either. Promise yeah. me that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but and even then say no to meth, just just what say no to U of A, you, you, all of the things that U of A and Tucson has to offer. Say yeah, no to say, say no to. to. Mm. I'm sorry you had to you had to uh, stand. You had to walk through that uh, horrible fate mm -hmm. on your on your uh, on your time. I'm sorry, Jeffco. And the next day we went and saw the new Ghostbusters movie. Had oh. it not been for the U Arizona experience, that would have been the worst thing that happened to me this weekend. Oh, doubly bad. So there was strike yeah. three right there. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't that bad because Paul Rudd's in it. If he's in there, yeah. you're kind of like, yeah, it's Paul all right. Kelly. Yeah. The, the most likable guy. Wow. All right. Listen, everybody, here's what's going on. On today's show, we got Corby Craig from Bet US. He, he got us uh, started into the march madness and so now he's going to continue to give us some advice and help as we get into the sweet 16 uh tomorrow and the next day then the elite eight over the weekend he's gonna uh talk us through all that when it comes to betting and stuff uh that's the only thing i got to promote you guys have anything to promote well i uh, we we did talk a little bit about uh ralph and uh, and keon being out on radio row oh yeah okay yeah, yeah that's we uh, talked a little about that weeks. on monday in yeah. two weeks, uh, they will be at the NCAA champ, uh, Final Four Radio Row. Uh, so that'll be exciting for them. I found it interesting. <laughs> found it interesting. Uh, you and I are at the station in these two Yes. Uh, yeah. That was Rather, by my, my request. That was, uh, that was divine <laughs> intervention right there. Yes. So here is the thought process on that. So uh, Keon actually knows who to look for and, and try to talk to. You know what I'm saying? He knows them on site. Uh, I, mean, I don't. You don't. Uh, Ralph just just likes to go anywhere. Uh, you know, he, he's kind of like a little <laughs> dog. If you're like, hey, you want to go for a ride? He's like, yeah. So he's going. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 
So if uh, if there is any kind of a technical difficulty between uh, here and there, well, then you and I can just hang out and and, and get through the show, you know. And uh, if if there isn't any technical issues, then we can just sit around and be lazy while, uh, mm-hmm. while Keon mm-hmm. talks to yeah. people from yeah. Final Four. And we know uh, that Keon will be in, in his element. Oh, that's his element. College that basketball is, oh, is yeah. Keon's element. Right? I, I love it, man. That's there it is. If there was to be a radio row that I would genuinely enjoy going to, it would be a college basketball related one. Yeah. Is this your first Final Four uh, radio row? Yeah. Ooh, so you're kind of a, you, are you are you nervous or? Well, no. I mean, it's not yet. You're not I, nervous? No. Every look, everybody there is a person. So you know, you just you talk to them like you talk to mm. anybody else. If somebody comes know. up and starts putting a hard sell on you, uh, just be prepared. I'm going to say some things. <laughs> I'll have several strategies. <laughs> when uh, who it is, when somebody uh, the college basketball Hall of Famers start walking into the booth there. Yeah. Hey, I want to talk about my new Borax. detergent. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, I'm going to have some fun. Oh boy, just be prepared for the awkwardness. Uh, it's gonna. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I, see, th- I don't know if I can. I'm going to struggle with this. I'm going to struggle our, with this. I am the person that when I watch a show or I watch yeah, a movie. Yeah. And something awkward is happening. I got to leave the room. I got to pause it. I got to. No, here's gotta... what Keon's going to do. He's going to figure out is like, because on our equipment, there's two controls one for his volume, one for the volume of us coming back. And all of a sudden, he's going to go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they won't hear me anymore. <laughs> Radio Ron <laughs> might be the one reaching over and turning that knob back the other he, way. He might actually. I just try not to let people come up and just sell stuff. Can you just do that? I. I do your best to, to not. They say uh, so and so brought to you by. Once they say that, say no, we're good. I mean, unless you really want to talk to them, unless it's somebody yeah. you're like, we have to talk to this guy, even if he's selling something. That's just that's just like if it's not somebody in the media. That's gen- generally a lot of people in radio. <laughs> like One of the worst things I ever heard was Troy Aikman coming up on Jim Rome and selling beer, his own beer he makes in his bathtub or something. <laughs> and I'm just like, God, I just would not want that. It's horrible. You know, you've got uh, Troy Aikman beer from his bathtub? No, I mean, I just wouldn't want to talk to Troy Aikman first. But after that, I, I certainly wouldn't want to help him sell I mean, what's, beer. what's in that beer? I mean, from his bathtub? I mean, That's how does saying. that work? I don't know. I was barely paying attention at that point, which is another reason I don't want it, to. I don't want to inflict our, this on our listeners. You Troy know Aikman's I mean? curly beer from uh, made from his bathtub. <laughs> his what? Curly? Little curlies. Little, little curlies in there. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be amazing if it was called little curlies. Oh no! <laughs> you know, Troy Andy, Aikman's little curlies. I think you and I need to quit this uh, radio station and start our own beer. Uh, little curlies. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> made in our bathtub. There's a picture of a bathtub just sitting there. It's a little curlies <laughs> bathtub beer. There it is. You think anybody would ever actually drink it? Mm. I mean, somebody would just out of moist one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big George says, hello, yep. gentlemen. Happy <laughs> Wednesday. Hello, Big George. Uh, and he says, uh, all right, so uh, how about that kid, Josh Doan? Yeah, I'm going to get to that in a second. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, two goals yeah. for the uh, Coyotes, and they got the W as well. His dad was in the stands losing his mind. That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, Ralph Has Crabs says, hello, Jeffrey. Good to have you back. Thank you, Ralph Has Crabs. I say your name twice Mm because I like to. Yeah. Uh, He says, I'm really happy for your Arizona Diamondbacks signing that Jordan Montgomery National League West has some of the best players in all of the uh, baseball in one division should be a dogfight between Diamondbacks, Dodgers and Giants. I uh, yes, I know. I I hear that uh, Otani's having a hell of a time figuring out how to bet this. Uh, (laughs) He doesn't have his translator anymore. So. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Donnie says, I'm a Diamondbacks fan, you clown. Who's the clown, really? Uh, cool Hand Brandon says, uh, yeah, that uh, Montgomery was with us. Uh, New York uh, did well in Texas, obviously, and I'm happy for him in Arizona. Uh, he's a good guy all around, found his stuff and learned how to pitch. And He's not just a thrower there. Uh, well done, Diamondbacks. Kiss the Cook says, Jeffrey, did you get a finger swab from your doctor? Huh? What did you say? What did you tell him I was doing? Didn't tell him anything. I just oh. said you were out. You'll be back Wednesday. We didn't. Uh, we didn't make up any. Uh, 
Any stories whatsoever? Because quite frankly, I mean, uh, you know, when Keon and I lead, the, it's nobody's business what you're doing. He's, he's you know, Jeffrey well, O'Brien is out today. Yeah. Listen, kiss the cook. Uh, that doctor will no longer give me a finger swab because I can't stop moaning. Uh, Noah says, dear God, Jeffrey, why did you go to Tucson? It's the crossroads of hell down there. Did you catch any weird diseases like Ebola or bubonic plague? Or did you get the crabs? Mm. Uh, I was there very briefly. Thank God. So uh, I was able to escape unscathed other than slight depression for having been there. Uh, the Berg uh, says, what are your thoughts on this? OK, let's take a look. Oh, dear God. That'll sell in Tucson if nowhere else. Uh, it's uh, I guess. Is that from 7-Eleven? House of Miracles. It says, it says big bite hot dog, sparkling water, 16 ounces of hot dog water, but it's sparkling. Mm. Not just Snowberg, but hell no. And he says, by the way, Josh Doan is the best player in the history of the NHL. <laughs> All right. It's, it's you might guy, be overstating some things. There's a guy named Wayne that's <laughs> yeah. pretty good, but all right, cool. <laughs> Fish Tank says Troy Aikman beer can only be held with freakishly large hands. Uh, Pierre <laughs> says, and you don't get a hangover, you get a concussion when you drink. <laughs> Were you guys able to, uh, like on every sip? <laughs> Were you able to translate, uh, Pierre? Uh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, okay. yeah, mm -hmm. I'm trying to, I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> He says, oh, try again. Nope, I can't do it right now. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, here it is. He says, it's good to see you back on this show. Although Keon and Randy did a valiant job of covering your ass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Are you going to speak to the great French basketball player, Rudy Gobert, during this radio controversy? I uh, don't know which radio controversy. I think he's talking radio row. If he's there... Uh, my we're advice is yes, keep him away from the microphones. Yeah, yeah, we're not letting him around the uh, the equipment. Yeah, he'll give everybody some some COVID again. <laughs> he'll start the whole damn thing off again. Great. Mm -hmm. Four years later, here we are again. <laughs> Fifth letter, we uh, he says curly lights for everyone, Randy. Uh, well, oh, it would not be a light beer. <laughs> no, no, mm -mm. little uh, curlies. He says, I'll take a whistle story. pig. Oh, you don't get a whistle pig if you're handing everybody else uh, little curlies. You get a little curly. Yeah. Last Optimus says, is Josh Doan's number the same as his dad's? No, it's inverted. His dad was 19. And Josh is 91. Uh, 91. Yeah. That, good eye. Good eye on that. I caught that, too. I felt good about myself. I caught that, too. Uh, all right. So here's uh, what's going to happen. Uh, you're going to stay there. We're going to go over here. And then things are going to happen that you're going to hear in your ear hole. When those things are done in your ear hole, we'll come back and go over there. Then you'll come over here and then we'll pick up the show. Unless you're listening to the podcast, which that just happens magically. Yeah. Did that all, did everybody make, uh, do you understand? Crystal clear. Yeah. Crystal. No, followed it yeah. perfectly. Yeah. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. This is Brent Musburger's action update on 1580 and 99.3, The Fanatic. Get insights into the sports betting market with v betting splits. See where the money is and keep updated on how the market is reacting. Only at VSIN.com. Now, here are the latest lines from my guys in the desert. Major League Baseball, the Diamondbacks opening up the regular season on Thursday as they host the Colorado Rockies. Arizona, the defending NL champions, will send Zach Gallen to the bump. Kyle Freeland will go for the Rockies. Arizona minus a run and a half, minus 118 on the run line. The Rockies getting a run and a half, minus 102. On the money line, Colorado plus 194. The Diamondbacks minus 235 with the over-under run total at eight and a half. The Diamondbacks have also reached a deal with left-handed pitcher Jordan Montgomery, a one-year deal worth up to $25 million. I'm Tony Desiri with your VEASAN action update on 1580 and 99.3 The Fanatic. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. 
I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. It's time, basketball bettors. It's March Mania. Jeffrey O'Brien here to tell you about BetUS.com. I endorse one sportsbook and casino, and that's BetUS.com. They've been driving to the basket for over 30 years, and this year, BetUS has an epic three-pointer, a 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. That's right, the industry's craziest 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, plus 10% gambler's insurance. And there's even more. BetUS accepts crypto. And they're offering a massive 200% crypto sign-up bonus. Gambler's insurance and crypto. You don't see that everywhere. March Mania basketball can get even more exciting with their live in-game betting. It's also a blast to check out their casino after the game, where you can get a 250% casino bonus. Get started by visiting BetUS.com or give them a call at 1-800-MY-BETUS to learn all about their bonuses and special offers. BetUS, where the game begins. In business, service is everything. Cintas delivers what you need to better serve your customers. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, tested and inspected fire protection systems, first aid and safety supplies, on-site AED training, or mops and restroom products stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together. So visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the work day. The dictionary describes madness as frenzy, rage, intense excitement, or enthusiasm. We define it like this. There's the pass to Leitner. Puts it up. It takes the truth for the win. The madness is coming. and 99.3 The Fanatic, the home for March Madness. Today, Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. Oh, last optimist doesn't want to have to buy another jersey. Well, you will. You will if you want uh, the kid dome. Uh, he is 91. Uh, Thunder Snow says the co-host who shall not be named was just named. The end is near. Okay, that was from March 5th. Why did that pop up on the text line? Uh, okay, so the text line is doing some goofy crap. So just be aware of that. If I don't read your text uh, automatically, don't take it personally. Uh, Turd Ferguson says, are we keeping Hurley over there at ASU? Do we know anything about that yet? Oh my God! Uh, yeah, we do. They just extended him, didn't they? Didn't they just extend last, him last spring? I think they did. Yeah. No, they no, they finalized it. They extended him two years. I think this was uh, over the weekend or uh, oh. since I since I was here last. I oh, saw a thing that well, said he was extended two years. All right, well, there you go. There and you I, go. my my question was why? What did he do that made you go? All right, yep, we're signing this. Although I think that when they said it was a two year extension. It was almost like he already did had some time served, so he just only has one more year left on the deal. I'm not sure, Turd Ferguson, but we'll take a look at that for you. Uh, Fish Tank says, Troy Aikman beer can... Oh, I already read that. Okay, so definitely we're having some technical issues here. Last Optimist, uh, there you go. I've answered your question. We're caught up. 888-368-1580. <laughs> it's, just, it's marked a bunch of them unread. And Did you have any issues with this yesterday? Not, no. not yesterday, no. It, um, if you've got it open on one of your computers, please please close it. No, it's, it's closed. Not here. open okay. here. Sometimes that was uh, an issue when more yet, people had it open. I, I believe you're right about the time serve thing with Bobby Hurley because the, a lot of the 
they had to change a lot of the language in the contract to to move to you know comply with Big Twelve regulations mm-hmm. moving from the Pac twelve. So that's what took all of this time. Um, I wonder what's different about the Pac twelve and Big Twelve uh, regulations for contracts. I, I don't know, but it's probably something that's not noticeable to us normal people who aren't lawyers well uh, because there's uh, no more pack it's now big instead of pack that's all you have to <laughs> so, do is control I, h yeah. uh big yeah. replace yeah. Uh, back yeah. pack replace mm-hmm. with big mm-hmm. and then just hit click and Ooh, I, well, you're I, don't, done. I don't know yeah. exactly if the big 12 has any different rules on dispensement of payment and how all of that stuff gets processed i don't know i just they're the that the, the, the there are some differences contractually and they wanted to make sure that first off that the, the Pac-12, the move to the Big 12 was finalized first and then once it was finalized, like a bunch of stuff had to get changed. Is the Pac-12 um, now officially over? Technically, no. Well, I, well no, because they, <laughs> they still have uh, the baseball uh, that they're playing. And What's I think, the date? Uh, what is the dead date for the Pac-12? Well, I think once uh, once the uh, the academic year is, is concluded, the uh, Pac-12 so, will be so June 1st, Pac-12 no is now the yeah. Pac-2. And that's the end of that. Yeah, I and, think so. And ASU is right. now a Big 12 school Big 12, June 1st yeah. because school I, gets out uh, May 31st, I at think, least it used to. I miss those days. I, I don't know if it's academic or if it's athletic. I, I, that's what I was trying to say. I, I don't know. You've got to fulfill your obligations this year uh, to for for this, uh, this uh, school year. And uh, maybe somebody can clear this up uh, because I'm really stepping at it hard here. I'm sorry, but uh, – Hmm. I, I, I'm. It's either the academic se- a year or the athletic season. I, I, I mean, it's know. not a big deal. I'm just kind of curious. No. I mean, we, we no. don't have to go too crazy on this. I just was kind of curious. What is the day that uh, ASU officially becomes a Big Twelve school, no longer a Pac twelve school? You know, when do we have to start following their rules and regulations and yeah. stuff? I don't know. Eight 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 three six eight fifteen eighty let's see here yeah now i'm starting to get uh texts that uh, i'd already gotten oh here's one from 13 days ago fantastic all right uh okay so if you are excited about what the diamondbacks are doing and you know ooh, i need to get myself some tickets uh well you better hurry because they are selling tickets at a rate that is four times higher than last season uh the arizona diamondbacks go to a world series and now Boom, everybody wants to be at the game. And I'll tell you what, I went to a game last year, and it was a lot of fun. That was before everybody knew, uh, oh, my God. Actually, it was like the game I felt like it, the things just sort of like obviously were turning around. That's when I saw Corbin Carroll, uh, uh, you know, get a walk off, uh, you know, hit. It was a perfectly placed line drive. And I looked at my kids who were with me. I'm like, man, this something feels different. And uh, then all of a sudden, bam, they go to the World Series. So mm-hmm. uh, now everybody knows, oh, hey, they're kind of good. So now everybody's running out there and buying tickets. Uh, the average ticket price is 100 bucks, And, uh, you know, uh, so uh, the fact that it's going four times as fast as normal tells you something right there. So if you really absolutely want to, go to a game you might want to look at your calendar get some tickets and schedule it now because later those tickets are going to cost a lot more through the second uh uh you know the, the you know what do they call them scalpers no they oh, yeah. the, yeah, second, the, the uh, secondary ticket market secondary there you go ticket. secondary i knew how the word second was in there somewhere. anyway so that good for the diamondbacks i guess i, mean, I don't know maybe now if they're making more money again they'll keep spending more money <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> you hope you, know, it's you, you hope so because they they've spent a little bit more so you're like okay maybe if there's more success you can maybe talk them into some more i don't know it's mike hazen's problem oh look it's beer bob by the way beer okay first off beer bob says i agree with you oh that was on two days ago sorry guys if you're texting me and i'm not getting your new text it's the system's fault but i do want to bring up something did you guys see what he uh sent uh while we were out the beer bob Beer Bob? Yeah, Beer Bob. It was funny because I was checking on something. I looked at the text line, and we got this weird drunken text from Beer Bob. <laughs> so I typed him, and I said, this might win for drunkest text we've uh, gotten so far. And he goes, uh, well, that was a pocket dial. Like, you don't pocket dial, like, An complete entire sentences. Text. Yeah. 
And he's like, uh, just kidding. And then he showed me a screen grab of how his phone actually does try to do some predictive text. So if his butt is is dialing, like one letter comes out, it'll say, OK, got it. Thanks or whatever. And so as I'm looking at his screen grab, there was something that caught my eye. <laughs> he was using as the uh, for 1580, the fanatic, because he's got our number saved in his phone as a contact and uh, the contact picture is uh, our old co-host Eric Cohen, but as a woman with big knockers. <laughs> I remember those pictures. <laughs> I don't remember who made them, but the fact he's using them as the contact picture for 15 <laughs> Fanatic was a little disturbing. Yeah. I think he's oh, yeah. still laughing at that. I, yeah. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt and saying so, that he's laughing at that. So I texted That's... Beer Bob. I said, dear Lord, uh, that is more disturbing than uh, your contact photo. And so I did is I found a high quality photo of just the emoji and uh, sent that. I said, maybe you should use that instead. That'd be any. <laughs> He's like, oh, thank you. Done. So I just don't want so to ever just, have it to just, see that picture wait, again. It never occurred to him to use a different picture. He, he just what? had that as his contact photo all this time. I got to be honest. It's crazy. To me. Minus Eric's face. Nice knockers, but oh, yeah. Eric's face of, has to be in it because I mean, that's what the picture was. Out of the three of us, I think Eric was the hottest. I think. Well, I just put my no, <laughs> I put my thumb over the face, and there you go. Yeah. I, I, first Draw off, a brown bag. I, I guess. I, the, these pictures predate me. What pictures? What, how did this come to happen? Mm, you well, don't want to see it. I'm you, not saying I want to hey, see it. You who, need to, you're, who made you're on a, this? What? I can't remember. Need to, you're on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. I and don't I only remember. barely want to know. Trust me. <laughs> it was probably someone. It was either Moist One or Fish Tank or Hefty Lefty. Somebody yeah. created these things. And you know, you, now what's going to happen is they're going to show up again. Mm, yeah, I should have not talked yeah. about it. Cursed images. Yeah, yep. should have not talked about it. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm trying to click on your guys' text, but it's showing me text from days ago. Oh, here's one. Sun Devil Raul says, all jokes aside about the $700 million gambling Dodger, can't believe we, the American people, are going to put up with Major League Baseball bending over backwards to help Otani and continue to vilify Pete Rose. You can only prosecute what you can prove, man. Pete Rose did those things. He, They had proof. He was an a-hole to Major League Baseball while the whole thing was going, and that's where he ended up where he was. Otani, do you know Japanese? Do you know Japanese? How are we supposed to prove anything? Yeah, well, it, the, and it, the, his if his uh, interpreter took the fall, and Otani's like, Ooh, it, well, what could we possibly do? Oh, we're gonna go read their text messages. No, you're not. They're in Japanese. Well, the, okay, the, but the, you the, Google the, translate pretty well. I'm pretty sure someone can figure ooh, that out. Ooh. The, they send it to me. I'll translate it for him. The entire thing is being investigated, including Otani's involvement. And he is. Uh, he said he's going to work with the authorities uh, to to. Uh, to get this straightened away. But originally when this came out, originally when they came out, they had Otani actually paying the debt for his interpreter. Mm -hmm. Then everything changed. So mm. there's a bit of a question mark here. There's a, a bit of an investigation that needs to take place, but you're right. Uh, Sun Devil Raul, you're exactly right. Uh, they are going to cover this up. I said this on Monday show and, and, and they're because he is the face of, of baseball and and uh, and we already know that drunky drunk Manfred. Look what he did with the Astros in, in uh, uh, you know the World Series scandal mm -hmm. in the uh, the cheating scandal there. Now mm -hmm. now now imagine what's going to happen to the bait the, the face of baseball in Shohei Otani. You think they're going to convict him or get rid of him? Hell no. This is the this would be the biggest uh, nail in the coffin for Major League Baseball. You can imagine. Yeah, unless you have absolute proof that Otani was involved in it, and like. A picture of him handing a guy money or writing a bet down or whatever. Uh, th there's no way. There's no way they'll do anything with this. They have to be faced with video proof or uh, just undeniable proof that Otani himself was gambling on baseball. We don't even know. Do you know for sure there was baseball bets? Do they know for sure that that's uh, what the money was about? I don't. I don't think there's any. Uh, yeah, there, they there didn't is. say it's illegal for baseball players to gamble. It's just illegal for baseball players to gamble on baseball. Yeah, I and I. I think this is an ongoing investigation, and I think we're going to find out more. But if if anybody out there thinks Otani's going to get caught with his, even if he is guilty, you, if you think he's going to get caught with his hand in the cookie jar, sadly mistaken. 
Fifth letter is sadly correct. I did ignore the first part of his text. Uh, he says, totally ignore the first part of my text, I see. He says, go sons. <laughs> oh, I thought I, you were a Laker I, look, fan. That, what happened? That local pride is starting to wow. really come through. I, I wow. appreciate that. Uh, Kiss the Cook says, oh, my God, I can't unhear that. Uh, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, the mental image is disturbing enough. We, we, nobody needs to see the actual picture. I was never asking to see like it. short and curly beard? Oh no, the the other one. No, that's oh. a that's a winner. If you were at it, if you were sitting there, they're like, "I'll try the short and curly." Mm. Oh, that's a great beer. Yeah, it's got a great beer name. Like you, if if you're a hipster and you walk into a bar and ask for the short and curly, like that. Oh yeah, harps start playing. Heaven opens up. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, they don't usually have that much money though. This might mm. not be a <laughs> money maker. Might not be able to short and curly. Mm. Anyway, so what I was trying to tell you is the uh, the tickets are going fast for the Arizona Dimebacks. So you might want to just sort of think about that. You know how I hate the Yankees? Yes. You know, it's been well documented. I hate the Yankees. But that doesn't mean that uh, I, I rejoice in this. I had a couple of messages saying, oh, I know you hate the Yankees. How about Oscar Gonzalez breaking his eye socket? I'm like, oh, I'm not happy about that. I don't want that to happen. He fouled a ball and it went right off his own face. He fouled himself in the face. Bam. And uh, it was bad. Uh, so, and here's the thing. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, right? You foul a ball and you get injured. That's pretty bad. You foul a ball and it breaks your orbital socket. Your eye, you know, you, well, that's pretty bad. You do it in Mexico City, mm. which means and, you're going to a third world hospital yeah. to, to deal with the injury. Oh, I, I don't think. Uh, and yeah, they're like, oh. they might bring you a glass of water. I don't now think that, you got a yeah. broken eye socket and you're crapping yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying uh, you, you don't want to be in a hospital there. You want to get across the border as quick as you can. I mean, I mean, the, here's the nice thing, though prescriptions lots of prescriptions you just they'll just give you anything you want but you're going to need a surgeon for the orbital socket now they yep. granted they'll do it for 250 dollars. probably still want to come back to the united states and get it done <laughs> well i i think there's a warranty all, if you do it here first of all i think the team doctor is going to take care of his care oh the team doctor is not qualified to uh, surgically uh, replace his face it's it's secondly i think they're going to uh to stabilize it till he gets back into the united states and the team is going to have a, a surgeon take care of his face and and, and thirdly uh, they're not going to let him uh, go to any uh, uh mexico city hospital and, and and finally on this to add uh, insult to injury the yankees lost the game yeah. They lost to the Diablos Rojos. <laughs> it was an exhibition game. <laughs> the Red Devils. <laughs> yeah. I'm not rejoicing in his injury, uh, but that is pretty good that they lost to the Diablos Rojos. Yes. I'm happy about that. Not about Oscar Gonzalez. I feel bad for him. That's, That's uh, too hope, bad. That hurts, I, too. I, mm. I hope he's going to be out for quite some time. So Yeah, anyway. I would imagine. I but would no, imagine. I mean, the whole point I was trying to make is, I, I, I am not happy when a player gets hurt, even if he is a Yankee. Well, yeah. there's a couple. There's oh, a couple. There's a couple, oh, yeah. there's a couple yeah. but it's yeah. not him. It's not him. It's not him. Right. So, all right, we got to take a break. When we come back, uh, other assorted things. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. Do you need equipment for your business but don't have the cash? I can help. I'm Dylan Cohen at JR Capital, and we offer no money down financing on new and used equipment. Excavators, forklifts, dozers, tractors, cranes, plows, and more. If it's essential to your business, I will help you get the money you need. It's faster and easier than asking your banker. Call me, Dylan Cohen, at 602-834-7353. That's 602-834-7353. Or visit moneyradio.com and click on Finance with Dylan. It's time, basketball bettors. It's March Mania. Jeffrey O'Brien here to tell you about BetUS.com. I endorse one sportsbook and casino, and that's BetUS.com. They've been driving to the basket for over 30 years. This year, BetUS has an epic three-pointer, a 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits, plus 10% gambler's insurance. It's amazing. Get started by visiting BetUS.com or give them a call at 1-800-MIND-BETUS. BetUS, where the game begins. 
With Progressive's Home Quote Explorer, you can check if you're paying too much for home insurance because getting you options is the right thing to do. Oh, you mean like when I let someone with less groceries go ahead in line? Sure, there's a part of me that thinks, if you only need three things, maybe go to a convenience store next time. And now they're sifting through coupons and my frozen foods are about to be not frozen. But still, it's the right thing to do. So compare rates with Progressive's Home Quote Explorer. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third-party insurers. Not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. It's March Madness. And the fairy tale ride continues. You can feel the madness. Oh, my goodness. Three-pointer. Good at the buzzer. March Madness on 1580 and 99.3. The Fanatic is presented by Harvin Solar, Kasai Japanese Steakhouse, Bet US, and Platinum Plus Cabaret. Catch all the excitement of the men's NCAA college basketball tournament on 1580 and 99.3. The Fanatic. Are you ready for your passion to meet your purpose? The city of Chandler is one of the best run cities and best places to live in Arizona where people express their passion through collaboration and teamwork as we serve our community of innovation. Come to Chandler, where passion meets purpose. Visit jointeamchandler.com for our current openings. That's jointeamchandler.com. This message is sponsored by the city of Chandler. Come join American Furniture Warehouse and see our amazing deals on sofas, sectionals, recliners, bedroom furniture and mattresses, dining room furniture and accessories. AFW has the latest styles, largest selection and lowest prices anywhere. Our warehouses are full and ready for you to take your new furniture home today. At American Furniture Warehouse, you'll find the perfect items for your space at a price you'll love. Visit one of our three Phoenix area showrooms or shop online at AFW.com. AFW.com. The most important event in sports could happen at any time. Like right now. Or right now. Or even now. Don't miss history. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or at 1580thefanatic.com. Jay Blender here on 1580 The Fanatic, and this segment brought to you by Bet US Sportbook and Casino. Matt Offer from Arch Mania Basketball. Uh, 125% sign up bonus for your first three deposits, plus uh, 10% gambler's insurance. You can go check it out at betus.com. And while you are there, if you're a wiener expert, get your mind out of the gutter. Talking about hot dogs here. Uh, the uh, the the site Bet US is looking to hire a wiener connoisseur. That's right. Uh, you uh, can get a job where you become a wiener connoisseur. Take it easy, moist one, and uh, visit all thirty Major League Baseball parks and check out the wieners at each one. I want to be. I want to do that. Uh, you get to taste test dozens of hot dogs, but they don't really care how good they are. They just want you to measure the hot dogs they want you to measure weenies uh, to see which major league club has the biggest and the smallest wieners and hey, once you got your hands on a wiener uh, you oh, need to measure it for length diameter uh, which is also known as girth and uh, uh, you also need to weigh it to see how heavy it is don't i don't want this job anymore it's not a full-time gig but uh, they don't expect you to handle all these wieners for free uh, you, you'll, they'll buy the game tickets. Your travel is covered. You get twenty five hundred bucks. They also toss in a five hundred dollar gift card for uh, MLBShop.com and a subscription to Major League Baseball TV. So that's a lot of uh, goodies, and you, they fly you places. You get to stay in places, and you, all you got to do is handle a bunch of wieners. You can apply at the BetUS website between now and April eighteenth. Just enter your name and your email. Write a short pitch for why you're the most qualified person. To measure wieners. Hmm. I'm not making this up. This is a real thing. I I, I believe you. I'm just trying just, not uh, to. Uh, dude, I would totally you do out this. with my laughter. I just. Uh, I would totally do this. I would fly to each place. I would measure the wieners. I'd put the wieners in my mouth. I would do everything necessary. I would hmm. weigh the wieners, measure the wieners, put the wieners in my mouth. I would uh, be happy uh, to to be their wiener man. You, uh, would you dress them up, the wieners? Yeah, I'd probably put a little ketchup on them and a little bit of relish, you know. Uh, every now and then, a little bit of mustard in there, too, just to piss off uh, the Berg, you know. Mm. Yeah, but you get 2500 bucks, uh, you know, just 
for twenty five hundred bucks total, right? Not not for every park. Right? No, I mean, total. Uh, you get tickets. Uh, you get travel. Basically, this is just awesome. You get to go to uh, thirty games. You get flown to thirty places. You get yeah, one one of them. Cool. You got to you got to uh, bring your uh, mm-hmm. your passport with you though. Okay, you to go, go to, to Toronto. To Toronto, yeah. But I got yeah. a passport. I'm yeah. I'm I'm going to go and apply for this. Are you? Why not? So then we need to get uh, picks from every time you have a wiener in your mouth. Yes. And we need to post that on 1580thefanatic.com. I'll get an OnlyFans account. I'll have it right there. What? Boom. Yeah. I mean, that's what I, I hear famous people do. I don't, so. no, I don't think that's – no, I don't think you want to do that. So, uh, yeah, betus.com, uh, I think there's slash wiener in your uh, hand. I can't remember what it's called. Hmm. Let me uh, let me let me see if I can get to betus dot com and uh, wiener. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'll let you know when I find it. Okay, but there's a there's a link. There is a link. Well, I'll put it on Twitter for you. Then maybe I'll <coughs> do that. I'll do that later. I'll put it on the Twitter for you. Yeah, I don't see it here on their front page. But yeah, they just want you to go measure some wieners. No big deal. I don't understand why you have to measure the fifteen eighty the, uh, the hot dogs at every park. I don't I because don't they want to find out who has the biggest mm-hmm. and smallest uh, wieners. Why? Why is that? Why is that anything? Size doesn't matter. That's Randy, what I understand. It's science. How is and it? I science? know you have heard probably your entire life that size yeah. doesn't matter, right? But that's not necessarily a true, especially when it comes to hot dogs. Here it is: betus.com dot pa slash mlb slash how dash big dash is dash your dash wiener slash hmm. yeah it's right there I'll, I'll put the link up on my uh my twitters here in a little bit <sighs> wow you know I, I think you know just when i think i've heard everything you I know think the berg should absolutely hmm. go sign up for this probably will what does he have to lose except his uh, self-respect what do you mean <laughs> self-respect this is awesome. There's here's what they're saying. Help us find the biggest wiener in Major League Baseball. Bet US leading the way for Major League Baseball odds this season. And so we're looking for someone to help determine which Major League Baseball stadium offers the biggest hot dogs in the league based on length. As we all know, size does matter. And for this official wiener kind of sewer position, we're looking for someone who considers themselves a passionate hot dog connoisseur see, has a right, strong right. opinion when it comes to grilled versus boiled hot dogs is see, well versed in the world of wieners I know, and smiles I, at the idea of a literal sausage fest i i see now there's the problem because every ballpark is going to have multiples of wieners there's not just one so it, it, that's what I, I there's more questions Good. than answers here then you get if you get to have two hot dogs for free I mean, I, I, Diamondbacks. I, they've got uh, they've got the regular ballpark. They got the foot long. They've got you know. Then they've got uh, that uh, that Mountain Hill. Uh, what is it? Where they've got all those uh, oh yeah sausages. Uh, yeah, they, all that stuff. And then the brats. And I mean, yeah. I, I mean, wh- do you just go and have like basic you just dogs? Sample everything. I, yeah, I feel like this is basic dogs. Well, then I feel like you're ruling out a whole you know sector of the of the uh, wiener community. Well, I think first you need to get the job. And then you say, oh, by the way, guys, what about this? And they go, oh, we didn't even think about that. I, this is a, a conversation to have when you have the gig, not annoy them with before you get it. Ah, you, you, need, see. you know from being annoying in this job that you have to annoy them once you have the job, not That's before true. you get That's, the job. You keep trying to teach me that, and I just refuse to mm-hmm. learn for some reason. There's a uh, you put your name and your email and your state. Uh, you write a little thing. Why should they be picked to be the wiener kind of sewer? And you hit submit. Kind of like a bam. like a, a wiener pitch. Bam. Just be like a like a wiener pitch. Well, you're gonna pitch to be the one that puts the wieners in your hand. And what makes them. you a, a what makes you a, a a wiener pro? Yeah, yeah. I mean, most one's got to fill out one of these things. So anyway, just <laughs> wanted to share that with you. We're we'll yep. ask Corby Craig from Bet US about this uh, when he uh, when he when he calls in later. I think we should. Hey, there's yeah. a lot of questions to be answered here. Mm-hmm. I, I think they're going to find uh, Moist One's entry into this appalling. Yeah, I think they'll, the, his entry <laughs> may cancel the entire thing. But you know, I don't know why you but guys it, say that. Who knows more about wieners than Moist One? 
But that but true, more, true. More detail than anyone asked for is he's, what I'm guessing he's going to write. Mean, you know talk, how you have questions. He's talk, going to have worse questions. Length, girth. Are you talking yeah. about all of the size? I mean, he's yeah. got it all. Shape. He, he's you know, he's, he's going to have worse answers. Forget questions. The, you know when you're boiling the hot dogs or sometimes when you're, you're microwaving the hot dog and you leave it in there too long and it splits? When I see that, I'm always like, oh, oh. Oh, God, I hope that never happens to me. You know you think that. You know you think that. Like, oh, we, oh that poor, poor ah, hot dog. Oh. oh, yeah, that, mm, that shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen to anyone. Mm-mm. Anyway, uh, let's uh, get caught up on the text line, and then uh, we'll talk. I know you guys talked a lot about the Phoenix Suns yesterday, but uh, we'll, we'll have a couple of things we'll talk about here when we uh, get a moment. And let's see. Ralph has crabs. Says, how about the news that Steve Hansen was extended as the Simon Fraser Red Leafs men's basketball program head coach? That's big news up in British Columbia. You ever send a text like that again? I'll block you. <laughs> and there it is yeah i was halfway through and i realized ah crap it's canadian stuff and there it is <laughs> and yes beer bob he says welcome back jeffrey so that was you replying to my accidental uh, pocket text last week yes it was i just happened to bring it up you know and see that uh surprised that the uh, randy and keon didn't uh Notice it and talk about it. Mars Bars 805 says, Happy Whiskey Wednesday, fellas. Randy, may I please have an 805? And how about them Lakers, he says. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Fifth Letter says, Hey, Keon, did you ever get a clip of Randy saying that the Lakers were hot? Kicking some ass? Why would you do that? Why would you say that? I I never said that. Oh, he did that, so I'd say it. Yep. And (laughs) now he's got you. And now he's got you. So, uh, Keon, um, I'm not kidding. But, I'm not kidding. Make a note of the time, 3.52. You're to go in and erase me saying that off of uh, just that part off of the yeah, podcast. You're, you're so at, there's no <clears throat> recordings. You're, you're at 52.50 here in the room. Okay, whatever so, it is, go back. Just re- just take out that. me saying that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can leave the part about me talking about it, <laughs> but take it away from fifth letter. He's to never have this. Thank you. I got you, man. Uh, Berg and uh, Big George. Oh, is Big George? Did you do the one uh, he did? He's like, here's you as an old woman. Yeah, I remember you guys were doing all sorts of weird crap with those AI things when they first came out. Uh, no, there was. Uh, I know you did the one with uh, the old co-host uh, as a gal, but her face. But you didn't do the one where he was a cheerleader. So somebody else did that one. Might have been Boogie. Mm. I don't know, Berg. I don't know. And now the text line won't even let me click on it. You broke the text line, George. <laughs> Thanks, George. Way to go, George. <laughs> so I know you guys uh, talked about the Phoenix Suns where they got super duper embarrassed in San Antonio. That was super duper embarrassing to go there. There's no Victor Webinyama and they lose. And they had yes. all three of the main guys. But of yes. course, Bradley Beal doing Bradley Beal things. Uh, you know, going out with a sprained uh, right finger, but uh, at least it wasn't that big of a deal. So that was super duper embarrassing. But that does mean one thing. They'll lose to the Spurs, but they're going to beat the Nuggets. I mean, it's almost a lot. What what makes you so uh, sure of that? Because they lost to the team they shouldn't lose to, which means they'll win against the team they shouldn't beat. It seems weird that we have changed the roster this much. And we have changed coaches, and the Suns still will play up and down to the level of their competition. And I don't understand it. I, I agree. I will never wrap my head around I, why that I is. Agree. There, it's yeah. not even most of the same people anymore, and they still have this problem. <laughs> I don't. You you got to beat bad teams. You know, you're you're ten games out from from the playoffs, and you're fighting to stay out of the play in games. Beat the bad teams. They can't do it. Slow Mo Zoe says, can he even fly with that injury? You talking about Bradley Beal? Yeah, it's just a finger. <laughs> or, oh, no, you're talking about that guy from the Yankees with a broken face. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's ruptured orbital, but that's your eye <clears throat> socket, man. That's 
It'll maybe, be fine. Maybe you can't. By the way, Slomo Zo it says he sent that text at 10.39 a.m. The text line is out of its damn mind right now. Yeah, for <laughs> I, some I reason, the text line yeah. thinks it's 10.30 in the morning. Well, that explains why it's freaking out. I'll have to call someone. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, I don't want to talk about the Suns last night. Uh, or whatever night it was. I don't want to talk about that. I, we, we don't need to talk about them playing the Denver Nuggets, but I guess we can talk about that a little bit. I want to talk about this playoff picture, man. I'm damned worried about this now. Damn worried about this. The West is loaded. I know, but we're West not in the right place. You know what I'm saying? We're down here. We need to be up there, not down there. Well, yeah, I mean, if you, if you can avoid playing games, please. Well, all right, guys, that's one hour down, and we got two to go. Uh, come on back, and we'll briefly talk some NBA before we talk some NFL. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event is happening now. Unleash your love for beauty with 50% off daily beauty steals on hair, skin, makeup, and fragrance. Shop your favorite brands like Tarte and Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Plus, grab perfect hair care pairs from brands like Redken and Olaplex. And check out new arrivals from brands like Charlotte Tilbury and Dyson. Shop the Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event online, in-store, or try pickup today. Now through March 28th. Ulta Beauty. The possibilities are beautiful. Conditions apply. You know, it seems like everybody's talking about the traffic on Valley Roads these days. You know what else everybody's talking about? The absolute best restaurant to take your family and friends to. Kasai Japanese Steakhouse. Now with two Valley locations. No one does it better than Kasai, where talented teppan chefs create the food, the fire, and the fun of teppanyaki. Kasai Japanese Steakhouse is dinnertainment at its best, where a delicious seven-course meal is prepared right at your table with flair. It's a perfect choice for any occasion. Choose from over 50 different items and combinations of teppanyaki. Looking for Great dining without the show? Kasai offers an awesome selection on Asian-inspired dishes and tasty sushi. Happy hour deals daily from 6 p.m. And enjoy outdoor dining on the heated patio. So whether you're here for spring training, March Madness, or just to enjoy the Arizona sunshine, don't just take your guests to dinner. You take them to Kasai Japanese Steakhouse with two locations, Scottsdale and now in Peoria at the 101 in Northern. Go to KasaiTeppan.com. That's K-A-S-A-I Teppan.com. Or search Kasai on your mobile phone. When it comes to covering the high school sports scene in Arizona, AZ Preps 365 has all the answers. Every Saturday morning from 8 until 10, they break down games, interview the newsmakers, talk with coaches from around the state, and stay up to date with what's happening with prep athletes and breaking news from the Arizona prep scene. It's AZ Preps 365, 8 till 10 Saturday mornings on 1580 and 99.3 The Fanatic. And always on at 1580thefanatic.com. My kind of guy is all class. He brings the finest wines for me to taste. He wears the hottest suits and he lets me take off his tie. He's respectful, but he's not afraid to explore his wild side. And when he's not with me, I know I'm still on his mind. She's waiting for you at the Valley's hottest adult cabaret, Platinum Plus on 32nd Street, just south of the 202. VIP bottle service and rooms, full kitchen, open daily till 3 a.m. Platinum Plus. At Bet365, we don't do ordinary. We believe that every sport should be epic. Every goal, every game, every point, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. Whether it's a game-winning goal in the final seconds of overtime or a shot on goal in the first period, whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary at Bet365. 21 plus only. Must be physically located in Arizona. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem wants help, call 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text next step to 53342. Live from the Harmon Solar Studios in Scottsdale. This is KQFM Tempe. Also transmitting on K25 CD Phoenix at 99.3 FM. And K240 U Bottom Hills at 95.9 FM. All right, people, settle down. Because it's time. time for what? Showtime. When does it start? Right now. Three, two, one. Let's get on with the show. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, buddy, it's 4 o'clock here on the Daily Blender. I'm your good friend, your radio pal, Jeffrey O'Brien, alongside Randy White. Got Keon Rose in the control room. He's all striped. It's that time of the day. It's that time of the day where he's striped. Mm-hmm. 
He's like a very boring zebra. Just everything's just straight across him. There it is. It's not even any designs. It's just, just, or, just straight lines. Yeah. Or like he looks like he's in a 1980s movie. You know, like, you know <clears> they <throat> used to do that a lot where you're looking at the blinds. You had the they had the shadow of the blinds in your face. Oh, yeah. and you're, yeah. you're out there. You're out there checking out like uh, sort of that uh, uh, the rear window look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I can't remember names of the actresses from the 80s. Like he's 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 creeping on somebody. Sybil Danning. Sure. <laughs> that's that's that that works anyway uh what were we talking about oh that's right uh, you guys are on the fanatic text line 888-368-1580 as we broadcast live in the Harmon solar studios in scottsdale and I'm trying to figure out the hell is wrong with the text line but silver pop says good afternoon gentlemen happy wednesday randy are you going to inform jeffrey about keon withholding the fact that the son signed isaiah thomas the hell they well, I mean, uh, we had him? a long, long discussion right. about Isaiah Thomas. This is not the Isaiah Thomas that uh, Keon says. This is not the Isaiah Thomas that uh, we think the Isaiah well, Thomas I, is. I, I don't just, I don't just the claim Isaiah that. Thomas Jr. Right. Uh, he and I clearly it's, see that's the problem here. And now Isaiah Thomas is going to come in here at, like he did with the Pistons back in the eighties and mm-hmm. and uh, it tried to just destroy all the mojo mm-hmm. that's and that, and I clearly I outline that as as the issue uh for the Suns. Well, who the hell is this, Keon? What's really happening? Well this is Isaiah Thomas, but he's a different Isaiah Thomas and he uh like what he went to a retreat or something? No, he's just a different guy. He's just a completely you know, his, 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 his name has an, 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 extra, an extra A in it. It's a different it's not spelled the same. <laughs> No, no, no. Isaiah <laughs> Thomas. Maybe Isaiah Thomas did take ayahuasca. Regardless, mm. this is a different human being named Isaiah Thomas. Mm. And this is why I, I did, not, I did not mention this via text or any other Let me ask uh, method of communication because it's hard. Isn't, it's already hard enough to explain. Wait, isn't Matt Ishbia friends with the actual the, Isaiah the, Thomas? The, the original Isaiah Thomas? See? Yes. The See? sexual uh, uh, deviant. Uh, yes, the very yeah. same. Yeah, okay. from yeah. Like he's from Michigan. They're Michigan guys, so that's what that is. And See? so then, then they go and they hire another Isaiah Thomas with an extra A. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I am paying attention. He's he paid for an extra vowel. What does he do? He is a point guard. <laughs> also uh, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Good, good player. Good, be... good scorer. Maybe not the best defender, but you know. Sure, Very similar to the original Isaiah Thomas, I, I submit. Is this possibly money? Original laundering? Isaiah Thomas was definitely a, <laughs> a better passer. No, he's he's been around the yes. league for a while. He just he had a hip injury and it kind of <clears> knocked him <throat> out of uh, the NBA for a while. And, mm-hmm. and then when he came Thought back, he it was, it was yeah. hard for him. Again, not the Isaiah Thomas. Oh, you're talking about the extra A's. Extra, right. extra A, yeah. modern Isaiah with Thomas. With the kind of money that Isaiah Thomas made with the mm-hmm. Pistons. Yeah. He could have bought that extra A. I, I, that's what I'm bringing to the table hard. here. It's just not hard I just, to don't, I just don't think he wanted to. Do it all the time. This is, on a, the, this is you a know, different guy. You look at the boy. picture of the two of them. Those are two different human beings. Mm. Ishbia will not be denied. He's like, I want Isaiah Thomas. They're like, yep. sir, you probably don't want this Isaiah Thomas. I don't care. I'm getting an Isaiah Thomas, whether you like it or not. They're like, well, there is a guy. There's an extra A. Perfect. Do it. <laughs> See, I told you I, just, I was getting Isaiah Thomas. The, the sons who are in desperate need of a point guard. Look, it's you probably consider playing photo- that Isaiah Thomas. It's easy to doctor photographs with mm-hmm. Photoshop. Oh, yeah, that's true. And video, too. You can do that with video. You, you oh, probably yeah. can, but those are still two different people. AI is myself. a hell of a thing, Keon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, the pre- before AI, I watched this man carry the Boston Celtics to an Eastern Conference Finals they had no business being in. Or Where did you? you? I did. Isaiah I absolutely Thomas? did. Are you sure? Like, which Isaiah Isaiah with, Thomas? with absolute certainty because he Extra killed my team in, in the playoffs the to do it. Building. Which Isaiah Thomas was this? This is this is extra a extra a modern times Isaiah Thomas, not eighties Detroit yeah. Pistons Isaiah Thomas well, with one that we a. know of. What happened? Not to him that, that we, we were not able that we to know him. of. It's not him. Well, what happened where he was leading people to championship? And now he's just on the Suns. Well, like I said, he he had a hip injury that 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 derailed his career, and so From he, all the sexual mm, demons. Mm, mm, no, mm-hmm, no, mm-hmm. no. I see doing this a lot. Is, this is what's oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Th- this is a this is a guy who mm-hmm. who has a, a a tremendous amount of heart and a drive to play the game. But he's also a uh, smaller player, uh, so oh, he just he's uh, also a smaller player. Yeah, I actually well, think well, he's, how is that I a revelation? Think, I, I think he's smaller than original because Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas, Thomas was There's, a smaller player does, yeah. as well. 
well, okay, I don't see, see what, yeah, what difference that makes. See what uh, I'm saying? But so, so he uh, he he fought his way back up through the G League and everything, and so mm-hmm. he, he's got his shot here with the Suns. So he had to go so to maybe, go through the G League maybe to make Frank sure the Vogel story was a cover story. Actually, play him? No, no, it's the Isaiah Thomas that I saw back in 2010. Were you in the building or did you watch this on TV? Because I watched TV this- can be faked. TV can be faked, but well, not we, in 2010. But 2010, we didn't have the technology to fake it that well. Mm. I mean, it was still HD. I, mean, I was mm. watching Isaiah Thomas mm. kick wizard ass in a game seven in HD. Mm. I watched it with my own eyes. I Were you on you could, Ayahuasca? You I, yeah, I was not uh-huh. because I, I do not take Ayahuasca. It's a known fact you often watch these sporting events from a, a, a local uh, a pub or and or uh, bar and grill. Maybe you were distracted by a girl. For the whole seven game series and the Why series not? before that and the Why whole not? season? No. See? No, it checks not, out to me. I think it's yeah. not distracted for by a girl for five mm-hmm. months. That, I, that did I, not occur. I'm telling you, I, I think there's a connection here. Slow Mo Zoe says the blender Fantastic. should go on the road. All three of us could measure wieners. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. If they would let us, I would do it. <laughs> the Jet says, damn, I bet you guys are worn out. You know, having to come in a day. Uh, uh, when I could see 30 wieners. What? I don't understand what you're saying, Jet. I don't understand <laughs> what you're saying. I used to see a lot of wieners. Mm, I mean, yeah, it's no I, different than any other day. I don't understand. No. no. Well, uh, I, what I, today I, makes any difference. I don't by understand that last text. I was uh, hanging out with my kids at the Beacon Lake uh, thing uh, uh, the other day. And I, my kids, uh, I was like, oh, you know, I haven't had a hot dog in a long time. And uh, my wife was like, yeah, let's keep it that way. And but we were, by the way, if you, this pecan lake thing is crazy. It's got this four story structure where you go around with a harness. Lake, Yeah. Yeah. You go around with a harness and you go on zip lines and you, there's like, it's weird. Uh, hmm. But anyway, but here's the thing about it. They opened it, uh, but it's not done being built. It's a bit, so, maybe a, 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 bit, a bit terrifying. And all of us parents were just letting our kids get into harnesses, get on this massive metal structure, this giant jungle gym that goes up like 50 feet. And we're like, yeah, it's probably fine. Even though there's construction material over there, there's a jackhammer sitting there. No, nah, that's probably good. Yeah, you're fine. You know, and uh, so they have a barbecue place there that uh, we, uh, we want to check out. But then we're like, where's the arcade? Well, it's going to be right over. Oh, okay. Or the. All right, where's the the go karts? Well, they're going to be right over there too. Do you have anything finished? Well, yeah, the uh, mini the golf zip lines. Yeah, we walked over where the mini golf was. There's just some boring ass, just putting tee. <laughs> just there was not, Var- no putting windmills, greens. nothing. Oh boy! And I was just like, wow, I'm not paying to do that on just a plain old putt. There's no clown. There's no nothing. Wait, you had to you had to pay to, gotta, to gotta uh, at least have a windmill. They're at like, least. where's the wave pool? Well, it's going to be over there. Yes, that was <laughs> going to be over there. So, Just, you know, you, you can actually charge people to go to your park when you're done building it. They're like, well, well, you need some money now. I'm like, oh, OK, well, here's 25 bucks for each of my kids to risk their life on uh, this uh, sketchy looking thing. Yeah. <laughs> go right ahead. It's- just painting scalping. Sure. That's all they're, they've rigged up the zip lines on scaffolding. Yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, Whee! by the way, you have to sign a waiver. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I'm here with two of my kids. One of them probably survived. All right, I'll sign. I'll sign. I mean, so we, we signed, and then they had a great time. They did have a great time. Yeah. I just was like, well, now I got to wait and come back like in six months when this thing is finished. What does this have to do with wieners? <laughs> if they finish it. I don't know. It just came into my head. It came out of my mouth. Uh, I haven't been on the radio for a while, so I don't really know how to do this right now. I mean, I think I think we're doing the blender pretty pretty accurately so far. Oh, okay. Then I guess I'm good. <laughs> uh, some people need retraining. Uh, Ray Ray says, I think this Wienermobile weighing job is perfect for someone like Ralph. <laughs> he likes holding small and big wieners. Yeah. No, listen, we've, uh, yeah, I feel, like, I feel like Ralph would enjoy it. He likes baseball. Uh, Bruno Baller says they could have an award show at the end of the season and give out awards called the Oscar Myers. Yeah, absolutely. Why would they call it the Oscar Myers? Because the wieners. Uh, They're not Oscar Meyer wieners. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. What if they're Hebrew nationals? True. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't give them the Johnson. What if they're Dodger dogs? He wanted to call it the Oscars, and I appreciated that, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beer Bob says, literally, I've never thought about that, Jeffrey. The best way to grill a hot dog, though, slice it. 
So you get more char on your dog. Get more uh, surface area. You cover you, t- you touch more surface area with your I, wiener. I roll my wieners around on the grill so they get yeah, uh, even too. grill I marks. It's not I that hard. It, but if you slice it down the middle, if you slice it right down the middle with a good sharp <sighs> knife. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? Oh. If you, you slice it right down the middle. You can you can really you can get a nice sear on the on the griddle. You see what I'm saying? You you, you got to put a, a a good maybe one of those heavy anchors that you put on on the hamburgers, the smash burgers. You get one of those heavy anchors and put that right on your wiener just, when it's on the griddle. So you're saying like you just get like a a tenderizing hammer and oh, beat yeah. your wiener, beat the hell out beat of it, beat your wiener on the griddle. Yeah, or, you, got, you, you know, you got to do it on a cutting board because if you sit there and hit your wiener well, with a yeah, metal hammer yeah. on the grill, you're yeah. going to break the grill. So then there's that. So y- you put your wiener on the wooden board and yeah. you bash it with the metal hammer. Just beat the living daylights out of it. Yeah. yeah, I think we're I think we're on the same page now. OK. All right. Glad you're Sorry. back. Yeah. Uh, hey, let's get back to what we were talking about, though. The Phoenix Suns right now are in eighth place in the Western Conference. And they're tied with the Sacramento Kings. Why are the Why are the Kings ahead of us on this ranking? I don't understand. We have the exact same stats. I, I think it's percentage points, isn't it? Forty two and thirty is the win and loss. Five eighty three is percentage. Uh, nine games back. So I don't know what more there was. I, I but... think the Kings have the advantage in head to head. Okay. All right. And then the Lakers are two games behind the Suns and the Golden State Warriors. Uh, they are five games behind the Phoenix Sun. So we don't want to be in a play-in. Can we get out of this? Is it is it too late? Because I know that we had a tough schedule. Uh, between Was it 10 more games? How many more games are there before this season is, is done and over? Is it, is it 10? Uh, is it, for is the it Suns, nine? it's 10. It oh, is, is it 10. 10? Okay. It's okay. 10, yeah. And there are no below 500 teams left for the Suns yeah, on but the our, schedule. If the Kings are facing some tough teams, then... We don't have to beat the bear. We have to beat our friend that's running with us. So as long as we can get a win more than the Kings or two more than the uh, Mavericks, you know what I'm saying? If we get the Kings have the third most difficult schedule left with 10 games. So, yeah, I mean, good, good. So there is a chance we could crawl our way back up in the top six. But you're not yeah. thinking it's I mean, very likely, are well, you? Well, no, because it's. Uh, I actually think it's pretty likely. Because it's Isaiah Cause, Thomas because, guy. Well, because it's games and half games apart. It's just and a that's game. See? It's, we're, we're not talking about their four games back and they've got to make up the grant. You, you really just need to make make up one game. <laughs> You'll be yeah, back they, in front and then you and then you presumably keep winning so you can stay there. They really needed that Spurs win. Yeah, that's yes, why, that's why you that. need to beat oh bad teams. God. That's what they're there for. <laughs> Oof. All right, so the Nuggets, that's a tough team to beat, but as the Suns uh, have been, as Keon has said, they've played up and down to the opponent. There's also uh, some injuries. There's a a handful of injuries. Let's see here. Uh, Zeke Nenanji is out for the Denver Nuggets. So uh, Jamal Murray, game-time decision. Michael Porter Jr., game-time decision. Aaron Gordon, game-time decision. And so is Nikola Jokic. Do we have any word on how many of those decisions have been made? I know we are two hours and 45 minutes away from uh, tip-off, but uh, it'd be nice to know. On our side, they're saying Bradley Beal, game-time decision because of finger issue. And uh, Yusef Nurchik. He's a game time decision as well. And I don't I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong uh, with him. He's he's got a uh I believe it is is it a neck issue? Um is but, it his neck, his back? Is it his oh. okay? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> no, it's an ankle for Nurkic. Oh um, so he's got a cracked ankle. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make it through today. Um <laughs> Just, Did you uh, just say he's got a, a broken ankle? No, he's got a crack. Yeah, it's well, it's a yeah a fracture, a, if you will. Uh, they're both well, they're both questionable ankle. for the Nuggets. Um, Beal said he would be playing, but if I had a dollar for every time Bradley Beal thought he was playing and then he wasn't, I'd have at least ten bucks, which is too much. Uh, and then uh, Yusuf Nurkic is uh, he's also questionable, and I I think that they've been a whole lot more secretive about that injury, which scares me a little. Well, these are the kinds of games that, where the, the Suns are supposed to lose and they end up winning. So uh, I think this would be a good game to watch tonight. Got to make up oh, that game I am, uh, from the uh, from the uh, from the San Antonio. I'm, I'm worried about guarding Jokic 
with without Nurkic there. That that does worry me a lot. You got to worry about that no matter what. You you do no matter what, but at least with Nurkic there, he actually does defend Jokic pretty well. So I, you can't stop him, but if you can slow him down enough to stay in the game, then that's that helps a lot. And, and Nurkic does it better than any other big on the team. So I'm I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. Thunder Snow says, "Good afternoon, gentlemen. Randy, how about pouring me a Jamison on this Whiskey Wednesday? Thank you very much." Pickle D says, I'll be the wiener winner. Pulling my car over and I'm applying right now. Good man. I got to remember. I forgot on the last break. I'll remember to put that link on the Twitter uh, in this next break. Niner Napolis says, wow, sounds like you'll be able to see all different kinds of wieners. Just imagine how many different types of buns you'll see. Well, that's (laughs) another good point. Uh, The worst thing for a wiener is big buns. If there's because then if the. The buns are so big; it's just nothing but but buns. Yeah, you know. Well, it, it kind of gets lost in in all of that, uh, you know, all that goodness. Yeah, yeah. Like they say, it's like throwing a garden hose down the basement door. It's just yeah. too much bun, not enough wiener. Right. Hefty Lefty says this Isaiah Thomas was named uh, after the Pistons Thomas due to the Pistons beating the Lakers in the '89 Finals. His dad was a a big Lakers fan. Well, if his dad was a big Lakers fan, he would never name his kid Isaiah Thomas. That doesn't make any Especially sense. Especially with two A's. Yeah. Because we already knew that Isaiah Thomas was an A. Mm-hmm. Now he's a double A. Yeah. Harry Soap says, uh, Isaiah Thomas sounds like Jason Bourne's situation. Could be. See, now, that, no, that's, see, now that's starting to make sense right yeah. there. Now yeah. we finally have someone making sense around here. Yep, yep. Brooks Kepka says, let's do a golf-style bracket. Oh, that was from March 18th. So I guess the text line's not done being weird. Mm. Uh, damn it, I'm just going to hit refresh again on this thing. Anyway, hey, how about uh, Draymond Green choking people again? Did he choke somebody again? Oh, yeah, Patty Kinda. Mills. Kind of. I didn't see that. I, I saw that <laughs> mammoth dunk he had last night. He that, did, but that also. That back dunk, that was amazing. He hooked Patty Mills on his neck and dragged him to the ground. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he, he just, uh, he said, oh, I was, uh, he pulled me down and uh, made it look like I was choking him. The refs are like, no, he didn't. Draymond's given that ex- same excuse before, the, the exact excuse previously. Yeah, and the only reason he's not, not getting true. suspended is it was uh, called a common foul. <laughs> if, if it had been anything else, they would have had no choice but to, well, basically just, send him home for the rest of his life. Draymond Green gets to play. <laughs> here's Here's the problem with Draymond. Everybody else is playing the NBA in 2024 rules, and Draymond gets to play in the 80s. That's a good point. And nobody else can play in the 80s but Draymond. All right. I'm all for it. I don't mind. He, but I, I, let everybody I do it. entertaining. Let everybody do it, though. Like, how come Draymond gets to be the guy that can hook you around your neck and drag you to the ground? But if Draymond. somebody else does that, then they're on. suspended for the rest of their life. <laughs> I like it. I, I, I like the over. physicality. I just wish more people could do it. Mr. Wilbur says, my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns. <laughs> oh, I, no. I understand some people like bread and some people like the meat. Yeah. What do you do with, though, it, 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 you know, when the, it, when the wiener's too big and, and it's not enough bun? And you got overflowage. Oh, I prefer the overflowage. You like the overflowage? Oh, yeah, because then you just uh, you bite it off on either end. Mm. and then Ah, then you can kind of yeah. fit it to length, like custom fitting. I'll always make it fit. Donnie says, from having title aspirations in October to now freaking out about being in the play-in game or missing the playoffs entirely. Ha, 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 ha. You know, I don't know who you think you're talking to again, Donnie. We've never had aspirations. We've been like, hmm, this would be great if, and I have had uh, concerns the entire season. So, you know, pull your wiener out of your ears. Uh, you must have some wieners in your ears. Not a wiener today yeah. on the show. Sticking hot dogs in his ears and not hearing everything. Mm. Walter Mellon says, hey, guys, after looking into what type of, uh, oh, my God, uh, grill I would like to get to replace my propane, I finally got a gaucho-style grill from a company called Nuke. It's been pretty fun so far. Got to use it, uh, uh, work in the coals. And he sends me a picture of this thing. That's nice. That is nice. Oh, I do like that. That is nice. Well done, Walter Mellon. Uh, Bruno Bollower says, have you guys ever seen that Seth Rogen uh, sausage party movie? No, I've never seen it. I don't. Mm-mm. I, I I turned it on and left it for small children. It's just a cartoon, right? It's for kids. So I just leave oh, it on. Oh, for them. Ooh, yeah. oh mm, 
Mm. Hefty Lefty says, no, no, Lakers lost the series. He made a bet, and that's why he had to name his kid Isaiah Thomas. And that's then amazing. I, I, I imagine ah. he added the extra A just to be a little, like, I don't huh. want to name him exactly Isaiah Thomas. Really? Silver Pops says, Jeffrey, if Denver has any of their best players out for this game, guaranteed Suns loss. Just like the game against the Bucks and the Spurs. Oh, it, yeah, when Giannis it, was out. Good every point. trap game that the Suns see coming, they still fall into the trap game. Mm-hmm. It, just, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Just any, any time that there's a chance to, to not play the opponent <laughs> at, a, at the highest level, they just take the game off. Listen, we have to take a break. We're running late, and uh, Corby Craig is going to join us and give us some betting advice about what's left of the March Madness and uh, other things as well. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting enrolls for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message data rates may apply. Apply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Attention homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? Fog between the glass. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's time to replace. And right now, you can get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson. Plus, with our March 31-day sales event, you can save $377 off every window and $700. $77 off every door when you buy four or more units. Just text MAKE to 200-300 for your free consultation on top quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no monthly payments, and no interest for a year. That's right. You don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text MAKE to 200-300 to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door when you buy four or more units. Hurry, this incredible 31-day sales offer is only in March. Text MAKE to 200-300. Text the word MAKE to 200-300. MAKE to 200-300. It's March Madness. And the fairy tale ride continues. You can feel the madness. Oh my goodness. Three pointer. Good. It's a buzzer. March Madness on 1580 and 993, The Fanatic is presented by Harvin Solar, Kasai Japanese Steakhouse, Bet US, and Platinum Plus Cabaret. Catch all the excitement of the men's NCAA College Basketball Tournament on 1580 and 993, The Fanatic. This March, enjoy some of the madness at Phoenix's hottest adult cabaret, Platinum Plus, on 32nd Street, just south of the 202. Open daily to 3 a.m. Our newly renovated 16,000 square Square foot mega club features three bars on two floors, VIP bottle service and rooms, a full kitchen, and of course, beautiful entertainers. Platinum Plus is your place for bachelor or birthday parties, victory celebrations, or a night out on the town. Platinum Plus on 32nd Street, just south of the 202. For the latest from the world of golf, tune in every Saturday morning from 6 to 8 for the Golf Shop Radio Show, presented by PlayGolfMyrtleBeach.com. The golf capital of the world. Hosts Mark Greenhelch and Matt Blanchard talk golf from tee to green and everything in between. If you like golf, you're going to love Golf Shop Radio. Before you tee up, drop on in. Welcome to the Golf Shop here on 1580 and 99.3 The Fanatic. What's up, everybody? Nick Costos here, host of You Better You Bet, reminding you to check out the show. Now, why should you check out You Better You Bet? Because we bring you the most fun. We bring you the most insightful, the most entertaining show in the wagertainment world. From up-to-the-minute breakdowns of backdoor covers, bad beats, and the cheers and tears that come alongside them. Plus, you'll get the best betting analysis anywhere from myself, Ken Barkley, and some of the best minds in the sports wagering world. So tune in weekdays, noon to 3, on Arizona Sports Betting Station, 1580 and 99.3, The Fanatic. Today's Blender here on 1580, the fanatic, and joining us now is Corby Craig from Bet US. We've gotten through uh, four straight days of March Madness, last Thursday through Sunday. Now we're getting ready. Uh, for the Sweet 16, the Elite Eight, and everything that follows that. Uh, how's your betting been going there, Corby Craig? Yeah, it's been good. The uh, the bracket got busted by the idea that Baylor was better than uh, I, the market probably thought they were, but overall it's been weird. You know, every, every favorite seems to be winning, and a lot of people don't have their Cinderella making it all the way to the Final Four, which they thought week one. Now, I remember last time we talked, you were bragging about getting in on every single bracket you could from every family get-together, from every work uh, bracket, everything you could. How have you been doing? 
Yeah, they're doing pretty well. It's all I, I talked about it in the first call we had, but it's all based off pool size. So a lot of these like smaller family pools I have like the most possible chalk in the assumption that they just don't know basketball and they're going to choose this like insane underdog to go to the elite eight, which seems to have happened. And uh, as as everyone kind of has noted, like, there's not really much chalk not winning at this point. It feels like every favorite wins. And um, so the, the the small pools are doing well. The, the big pools where I took those massive guesses, like the Western Kentucky to win uh, in the opening weekend, those aren't looking as good. But we'll 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 make do with the uh, with the small pools for sure. So when it's all about chasing the chalk, once you get to the uh, Sweet 16, how do you find your value? How do you make your money betting uh, outside of the obvious? Yeah, it's just it's who has the market overcompensated on who's not really played anybody and, and yet is getting this good look or vice versa. Like an example here would be a San Diego state, San Diego state, a, a team that is fun and, and everybody's paying attention to, but then you go back and you look a little deeper and you see, well, UAB ran the zone against them. They must've seen something that nobody has seen all year because no one runs the zone in college basketball enough. Then Yale didn't and got killed. So can these guys shoot? Like are our coaches seeing something that we're just not seeing? And I would imagine when you watch this UConn game coming up, I would I'll put some fair money that UConn's going to play a zone in the, in the sense that San Diego State can't shoot. We kind of saw that with UAB, um, and can the market adjust to that? So I imagine just little things, little nuances that you pay attention to in the game, um, like San Diego State not being able to shoot, and the next teams that have to play them will inevitably be going into a zone because of it. So we really want you to tell us how good UNC is going to be in this next game. How dominant will they be? How they will destroy? Who are they playing again? Uh, oh, that's right. You, Arizona. Uh, so uh, <laughs> why don't you give us a little bit of a breakdown on uh, how much of a slaughter this is going to be and uh, how much you, Arizona fans, will be crying at the end of this game. Yeah. The, the unfortunate part is that Arizona still has to make it through Clemson. Um, oh, that's easy. And, I'm not worried about and, that. Yeah, the, the reason that's the only issue to me is this is where I had Baylor uh, against Arizona, and we could all laugh and giggle that I actually think Baylor had a good shot versus Arizona. But Clemson, I don't worry. I, I think that Baylor, I mean, Arizona probably gets pretty easy through. But then they'll see a North Carolina or an Alabama team. Alabama, a pretty feisty team. And I will say, like, I, I do kind of agree with your, like, even half-hearted joke that, I'm not sure Arizona can keep up the speeds of. I, I know Arizona is a really fast-paced team, but these are two teams in North Carolina and Alabama that fit that profile perfectly. And like we see Arizona even at times struggling versus Stanford, a team that played decently fast. But I think this is going to be the the highest pace that they are able to face. And I'll tell you, it's going to be an NBA game final score. Neither of those teams play defense, so I'm, I'm interested to watch it. Now, I, I don't want you to think I'm only thinking of you, Arizona, when I ask this. But do, does the NCAA test for meth at the tournament? <laughs> I, I think it's right after. You know, they, they let the kids get they, – they, they let them get done first. And they're like, yeah, something suspicious is happening here. Damn it. All right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so, okay. Uh, so, now uh, looking forward, you know, like you say, there is chalk involved. Do you have any uh, tasty bets for, for the people who are listening that maybe they uh, wouldn't think of? Uh, what do you get any good uh, tidbits for them here? Yeah, there's, there's not much going on in the betting landscape other than, we're, you know, we're getting out to the wire and it feels like everything's kind of coming to fruition. Um, the two that catch my eye is just what uh, – the first one would be like an counter-opposite play. So Illinois is going to play Iowa State. And if you watch Illinois play, you know that they want to basically play the same way as Arizona. No defense, all running gun. And Iowa State's the exact opposite. So it's going to come down to who can actually set their scheme. Um, and I think Terrence Shannon is a good enough player to get that upset. So I, I, I kind of like this Illinois plus two versus Iowa State, and hopefully we see a two seed finally go down after what has seemed like the chalkiest tournament I've ever seen. Uh, and then on the other side of the bracket, a team that everybody just seems to hate, actually two teams everybody just seems to hate year over year, is this Purdue team with Zach Eady, which I understand. It's not fun to watch a seven foot three guy play basketball. Uh, and then Gonzaga. No one ever likes Gonzaga. I feel like I'm the only guy that's like, oh, they're pretty good. Um, Gonzaga's already played Purdue this year. People kind of forget this, and uh, they didn't play very well. But they, because of that game, have changed their lineup. They they have a new big man in who, basically, after they got killed by Purdue, they put him in the lineup, and uh, they look a lot better because of it. So I'm interested to see what round two looks like. You know, it's hard to beat a team twice. I um, mean, it wouldn't surprise me if the number one overall team in this 
entire bracket and then the country and Purdue goes down versus the Zags. All right. That's fun. It's always good. Let me ask you a question. You brought up the th- uh, thing about defense uh, earlier, how some teams decide that their best defense is an overwhelming offense hey, score, score, score. And that's how you beat the other team. Who, wh- what do you think has the most uh, success, a-, a team that uh, does it that way or the team that actually uh, tries to slow down play and play more defense? I would say, and it's just the worst answer, but I would say a hybrid of the two. Um, I know you don't have to tell me it's the worst answer I could have given you, but you see year over year, like a Virginia is those too slow. You know, they, they can't, like if they shoot bad, they're going to lose a game 48 to 49. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. Uh, but then you see too fast. Like you'll see Alabama year over year. NATO, it's just, uh, you know, if they're not scoring and they're not playing defense, they're going to lose to teams like, Charleston or or they 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 let teams even like Grand Canyon the other day that was a three-point game and Grand Canyon only made five jump shots in the second half it should have never been close and yet the nature of how Alabama plays like they put themselves in a position to lose so I think it's the the weird in between of (laughs) at least you're capable of playing defense and you're capable of running an efficient offense a team like a Marquette comes to mind a team that knows where they're running on offense and they know at least how to guard somebody on defense so I'm sure you've uh, been following the news about uh, some prop bet irregularities uh, with the Raptors, John Tay Porter, and now how the NCAA is saying, hey, maybe we shouldn't have prop bets for college sporting events. Uh, I was just kind of curious what your thoughts on uh, that mess are. Yeah, the Porter situation is very strange. I don't know if you've seen, but the ticket has actually came out of what he bet at DraftKings. So first off, it's just like it <laughs> – if you're a professional and you go and you bet $80,000 on your own props, on your own betting account, like you're going to get caught, which is just, uh, I feel like that's very self-explanatory, but uh, apparently it's not known at this point. But uh, I actually had this a long debate this morning, and I, I fully agree. I think that this is probably the best thing that could happen in the space, like especially in college. Like you don't want these kids who, you know, the professionals have a, a career ahead, but there's, there's such small schools so there's kids who, you know, there's 360 basketball teams. And you can bet on the random, the most random point guard in the nation not to hit a three. And he's aware of this. And, like, if, these are schools that these games might not matter as much. And so I agree. It's putting a lot of pressure, a lot of leverage on these kids. Um, I know that there's conversations outside of sports that just don't need to happen. And so I think it's for the best. I think in 20 years we're going to look back and we're going to think how little legislation and and – work there is to ensure that these kind of things don't happen will it'll be it'll blow our mind that we're just allowing things like this like an example the dodgers are getting mad about the whole tawny thing but your your main sponsor is FanDuel, and you let you you can bet per pitch within the stadium if it's going to be a strike or a ball and it's like there needs to be legislation and and i think that's the biggest issue and i think a very good first step is don't let college kids have player props in the first place well step one is to prevent players from from betting at all especially on their own sport, but uh, it is another way to look at it saying, maybe we don't need prop bets. Maybe because when a prop bet is something that can be influenced by the player himself saying, okay, guys, uh, go make these bets for me, and then I'll just not hit any threes tonight. But when you have people who are that aware of what's going on and maybe trying to make money, and like you say, maybe a smaller school, maybe a big school, who knows? Uh, when they have these little uh, you know, opportunities to corrupt the system, you know, it, it, maybe maybe you shouldn't have those kinds of bets. Yeah, I fully agree. There's like it'll always be a corrupt system, but then you go look at and I don't want to go on a politics debate, but you look at the trading market and you can say, hey, in, in the stock exchange, it happens with politicians all the time. And so yeah. I think it's more of a thing of we need to try to at least reduce it as much as possible. And I fully agree with you to reduce player props. Like if there will always be throws. It's the nature of the beast. Um, and, and irregulations within like sides and totals. But if you can at least take out 99% of those by removing player props, I think it's a, it's a good thing for the sport that we all love. Like it, I, I am a professional better, but at the end of the day, I love sports and I don't want them to be ruined or tainted by this idea of somebody making an extra buck uh, and throwing a game because of it. Yeah. It's kind of hard because if you say, okay, well, players are not allowed to be uh, gambling at all. But then they're just going to tell their buddies to do it. So it's just, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer. And I hate to take away the fun of betting props uh, from, you know, the betters. It's just, you know, 
it, it, you have to have integrity on these things. You have to be able to to sort of, you know, make sure it's all honest so people aren't scamming. So uh, what do you think the solution is, really? Do you think it is getting rid of some of the props? Do you think it's just uh, being more strict towards the people who are playing the games? What would, what would you do? Yeah, I, I would say further identification, which I agree, there's always, there's always going to be ways around that. But further identification um, to reduce the amount of props that you can bet on. And then just overall legislation, like even in, I bring up the trading market because it's the easiest to bring up. But like Tommy Tuberville changes a a, a stock um, like a law against corn or whatever, and he's come to find out he had corn purchases of stock like three days prior. So it's it's going to happen in every single market. Just the ability to make it self aware where people can see that, like we know what senators are buying the day they buy it, and like that's a really big thing. So like, you're never going to stop kids from buying. Uh, they're always, if there's the ability to gamble on something since the start of time, you're going to gamble on something. It's just the ability to reduce it to the magnitude that we can. Well, I appreciate uh, about bet us and uh, other entities are once they see something is up, they make it right for the other customers. They make sure that uh, people don't get hurt by those things. So uh, that's always at least a good thing. Speaking of bet us, uh, Corby, can you put in a good word for us with bet us? Because we heard about that uh, that job opening for Wiener Expert. Did they tell you about this with BetUS? I have, not, I have not been told about this. Okay, so BetUS is looking to hire a Wiener connoisseur, and then that person gets to visit all 30 Major League Baseball parks and check out the Wieners there. And they, they want to know who has the biggest Wieners at, at the ballpark. So you go there, you taste test dozens of hot dogs, uh, they don't care how good they taste. They really just want you to measure every weenie and see which major league club has the biggest or the smallest weenies. And then, uh, you know, uh, it's it's not a full-time gig, uh, but they also are like, well, you're not going to be handling all these wieners for nothing. So here's what they do. Uh, Bet US is going to buy game tickets, travel is covered, and you get 2500 bucks. Now, what we don't know is, is that total or is that for every game? But they'll also throw in a $500 gift card to MLBshop.com and a subscription to Major League Baseball TV. And there's a place on your guys' website to apply uh, between now and April 18th. And it's betus.com.pa slash MLB slash how dash big dash is dash your dash wiener. So uh, we wanted you to put in a good word for us. But if you're just now hearing about this here. Yeah, yeah. We're needing you to do us a solid, uh, Corby, and uh, get us in on this job. But uh, Jeffrey and I, we need to travel around and uh, and test all these weenies. Yeah, well, I'd listen. I'll, first off, I'll put a good word in. If you uh, ask for a plus one after it's done, I, I would also like to go measuring. But I will say, hey, the marketing team at BetUS has been working overtime. Whoever thought of that, that's a genius. At least they, they've got something going on over there. Yeah, well, BetUS I- knows size does matter. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'll tell you what deal. Uh, so if you have to, this is not just one of us. It's me, Randy and Keon and Corby. So all four of us will act as a, a broadcast team going to each one of the parks. Oh yeah. It, we want separate hotel rooms though. We don't want to share. Randy snores. But he, Ooh, yeah. He's out. He's out. with well, me I, then, I also, sure. I also sleep without my, uh, without my drawers on. That's also a problem. Hey, so if you could uh, put in a good word with the, your, your friends there, we, we'd sure appreciate it. Yeah, let me uh, let me put in a good word. I'm also going to need my own room if it, there's some snoring involved. But, you know, I, I I can give a good taste test or two. You all do the you do the measuring, mm-hmm. I'll do the taste test, and we'll make a good, we'll make a good group there. That's I like deal. how Corby is more worried about your snoring than your pantslessness. But yeah, well, <laughs> he's like, I got to get my sleep. I can close my eyes. Clearly, he's uh, he's comfortable with his uh, masculinity. So, yeah. I mean, just because I listen, just because I don't want to see you pantsless doesn't mean I'm not comfortable with my masculinity, Randy. Don't try to turn this around on me. <laughs> anyway, I try to turn it around. Corby, thanks for joining us and uh, giving us some uh, betting expertise. That's uh, Corby Craig from BetUS. And remember, Corby's brought to you by BetUS Sportsbook and Casino. It's time for the March Mania Basketball. They got a mad offer right now. Deposit 200 and play with 450 plus 10% gambler's insurance. That's BetUS.com. Uh, Corby, so uh, let us know when we get to start and uh, send me an email and we'll, we'll all hit yep. the road together testing the weenies. Absolutely. Yeah.
better better soon than later. I'll, I'll get back to you guys on that application ASAP. Thank you, All sir. Right. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right. We got to take a break. We'll be back with more of the Daily Blender after this here on 1580 The Fanatic. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. Are you a victim of the Thompson trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. We've helped over 30,000 families out of financial hardship by getting them out of bad timeshares. If your timeshare agreement goes on forever, if you were told timeshares are a great investment or your maintenance fees will never go up, you have questions, we have the answers. At Wesley Financial Group, we're dedicated to helping timeshare owners get out of their financial nightmare. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call now for your free timeshare exit information kit. Call 800-761-0000. That's 800-761-0000. 800-761-0000. Hey, Ralph, got another solar question for you. Okay, but did you check out the Harmon Solar Podcast first? The what? The Harmon Solar Podcast. We put new episodes up twice a month that teach you all the things you ever wanted to learn about solar. We discuss things like how solar works, the roofing, sales process, demand management, everything solar. Show like this needs some real smart thinkers, huh? Well, yeah. So you got some really great guests then, huh? Almost every show. Is it on Spotify? Yep. iTunes? Yep, just search it everywhere. It's the Harmon Solar Podcast. Go check it out at harmonsolar.com. Need a boost in capital or a flexible line of credit for your growing business? Hi, I'm Dylan Cohen at JR Capital. I can help you get the money you need fast. The process is a breeze with a simple application and same-day approvals. No more waiting, no more hassle. Just a straightforward path to securing the funds you need faster and easier than asking your banker. So call me, Dylan Cohen, at 602-834-7353. That's 602-834-7353. Or visit moneyradio.com and click on Finance with Dylan. It's March Madness. And the fairy tale ride continues. You can feel the madness. Oh my goodness. Three pointer. Good. And the buzzer. March Madness on 1580 and 99.3. The Fanatic is presented by Harvin Solar, Kasai Japanese Steakhouse, Bet US, and Platinum Plus Cabaret. Catch all the excitement of the men's NCAA college basketball tournament on 1580 and 99.3. The Fanatic. When life gets overwhelming, but you just don't feel like talking, help is only a text away. Trained and caring crisis specialists are available by text 24-7 to assist with suicidal thoughts, substance use issues, depression, anxiety, and more. You are never alone. When you need help, please text HOPE to 4HOPE. From anywhere in Arizona, text the word HOPE to 44673. This message is sponsored by Solari Crisis and Human Services. Download the Fanatic app. News, scores, social media updates, and more on your smartphone, on your tablet. The free Fanatic app, available at the Google Play Store or the App Store and at 1580thefanatic.com. Blender here on 1580, the fanatic. Uh, by the way, I want to ask you guys, how are your brackets doing? <laughs> it's not that bad, huh? Well, uh, the ha- half of it's gone. The other half is okay, but half of it's gone. Literally, the left half of my bracket. Everything I'm, on uh, the left side is done. I, I'm doing okay. Doing okay, Jeffco. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, I, uh, what does I'm that still even in mean? The game. I'm, I'm, I'm at. Uh, I think I'm 51. I'm ranked 51. Oh, that's good, actually. That's yeah, pretty Ray, good. Ray's, Ray's doing all right. So I'm like 91st. 91st. So yeah. I uh, did two. Uh, now, the one that I did with the special idea, Ralph did uh, the most fouls. I did the least fouls win. And in that, uh, the first game, my bracket was busted. Okay. Actually, the actual first game, gone. All right. All right. And that's all right. That's all right. But then as the days went by, uh, you know, Ralph's uh, ended up being worse than mine. Right now, I am uh, fourth from last place. He's second from last place. Oh, boy. Now, that said, both Ralph and I did real brackets. I did mine underneath radio station, uh, the Fanatic. That's my real bracket. Now, my real bracket is in 51st place as well. Uh, it's been doing pretty good. And I'll be honest, 
chased an awful lot of chalk on that one. And uh, yeah, Corby was a million percent right about the chasing of the chalk. Uh, Randy, I know you. You didn't just chase chalk. You gave it some thought. So uh, good for you. Well, thank you. I, uh, yeah, I didn't chase chalk. I, uh, I, uh, I spent exactly seven minutes. Did you guys look at the standings? I see a bunch of our uh, texters uh, here. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Wait a second. What the hell? Radio Ron. What? Radio Ron is also in 51st place. You know who he has picked as winning the whole damn thing? Michigan State. Mm-mm. You, Arizona. What? Well, that's how you know he didn't pick with his heart. Ron! <laughs> what? <laughs> He didn't pick with his heart. That 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 I can tell you. Oh <laughs> no! I don't feel betrayed. That hurts. Yeah, I got to. I got to tell you, that kind of stings as well. Wow, they're not going to win it. No, I don't think so. But you know, no, I'm looking I'm... at my bracket. Maybe I'm. <laughs> I'm not the one to ask. Well, I'll tell you what they call it: Mark, March Madness for a reason. And come uh, Thursday and Friday, yeah, I bet you. I bet you we're going to see uh, it's a lot more changes in who's in the top 10 and who's uh, at the bottom. So uh, more basketball left to be played. But, uh, man, it hurt my eyes to see the U Arizona emblem right next to Radio Ron's name. Wow. Mm. Mm. Lacrosse guy is on the text line, 888-368-1580. Says, gentlemen, this weekend I am crossing off a big bucket list item. Taking my son to Chicago this weekend, and Saturday morning we're driving to Notre Dame to see a men's lacrosse game. Notre Dame no versus kidding. Q's. Wow, go Irish. good for you. Good for you. There you go. Uh, Fish Tank says, Draymond Green just got ejected four minutes into the game on two techs. Can we please stop giving this dude a free pass? When is Golden State going to be over uh, dealing with him? It's a good question, Fish Tank. I think you're getting close to it. Draymond Green is playing the game in, a, in an era that is that no longer exists in the NBA. <laughs> and I just... If you're not going to hold everybody... If you're not, if you're not going to hold him to the same standard you hold everybody else to... Right? Then what are we doing? Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Hefty Lefty says, I was going to head over to the Platinum Plus Cabaret this weekend. <laughs> um, who should I tell that I heard about it on The Fanatic? Anyone who will listen, Hefty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if, if your bracket is busted right now, you know, that's okay. You know, what you have right now that a lot of people don't have, you have freedom. You know what I'm saying? No more pressure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you could just yeah. watch the games and enjoy. That's it. Just watch the games in peace. No pressure. The team I have that's, winning it all true. is still there, yeah. so I got to root for them. Don't have to binge yeah. watch every single game on every channel, on every app and website. unless You're, you're right. On. You are right. But I will. Keon yeah. will, but you don't have to. So there's no more of that. You can support the people who are doing well. Your fellow texters uh, uh, who are uh, in the top 10 on the text, they keep up with their standings and follow along. That's a, that's a nice uh, uh, thing you can do there. You know, now, now you don't have to worry about chasing chalk or wondering, Ooh, this is going to affect my bracket. Now you can, you can embrace the underdogs and the Cinderella's. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. These are the bastards that screwed up your bracket. So maybe you don't, maybe you go for the other guys. I don't know. Whatever you want it to be. Now it can be that for you. Because I like there's, it. Still the Sweet 16. There's the Elite Eight. There's the Final Four. There's all this stuff. Oh, and by the way, Major League Baseball's opening day. Well, that's either tomorrow or the next day, right? Thursday. All day tomorrow, uh, Major well, League Baseball. Well, actually. Diamondbacks is on Friday. Technically. Well, no, they they uh, they play tomorrow. Do they? I thought they, yeah, they, they played play tomorrow night. I have a friend who was telling me just yeah. today that he bought tickets. Play oh. tomorrow against the Rockies. There you at, go. Opening uh, day starts tomorrow. Yeah. So it'll be uh, in the evening. Um, yeah, but it, it gets underway early and, and it goes all day long. It's like a it should be a national holiday, just like the day after Super Bowl should be a national holiday. Tomorrow should be a national holiday. I don't think you're going to get uh, a lot of movement on that one, though. <laughs> on people making opening day. a holiday. I mean, technically, the, the season is underway because uh, Los Angeles and San Diego played uh, two games in Seoul to open the season. But that was to like that, that took place last in Seoul. Week. So as far as the time zone goes, that's uh, two days from now. 
Yes, mm. that is so correct. It hasn't actually yeah. happened because yet. the world has to uh, orbit the sun twice right. more, and right. then uh, the moon has to be in right. retrograde uh, of uh, Atlantis or uh, uh, something like that. No, you're yeah. right. You're right. No, you got it yeah. right. No, that's true. I think so. okay. Yeah. It's very confusing. Ray Ray says, "Did you guys see the story uh, about the three cabarets in Scottsdale that uh, have been ripping off customers?" Well, yeah, it's not this one <laughs> because this is platinum. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't happen at platinum. One guy was charged one hundred and seventy thousand dollars for one night in the VIP room. Wow! Damn, she might have been hot. I don't know. <laughs> they all claim they were drugged and don't remember signing nothing. Hmm. I don't <laughs> think it's the one we're sure. talking about, though. Hmm. Uh, Fish Tank says Diamondbacks have the best odds to win tomorrow of any team in the league. Well, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't like when that happens. Game one of one sixty two. Mm. Yeah, I I'd like to go back to just uh, being you know happy that the season has started and looking forward to watching the Diamondbacks play, but having no expectations on the season whatsoever. Because we watched the Dodgers spend so much money. And what happened? The Diamondbacks swept them, and all that money amounted to nothing for them. So we don't want to fall to that same uh, issue. So we're not going to be braggadocious. We're not going to completely remind the Dodgers of that all the time, yes. But we're not going to be snarky and braggadocious and cocky. We're just going to be happy to be here, hoping for a good game. Each game is its own story. You go, you watch, and you root for them. That's it. That's all we're going to be doing. We're not guaranteeing playoffs. We're not guaranteeing a World Series. We're just here to enjoy good baseball each game by itself. And remember, George and the rest of you, it is a long season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ringless Joe says the Suns aren't as disappointing as people make them out to be. They're an above average team in a stacked conference. Okay, fine. They're, but. But there's also a lot of deficits we've talked about. We're not going to go pile on them for that right now. But no, the complaints about the Suns are absolutely legitimate. The things that we uh, have been concerned about all season long, they are very apparent. Uh, It's right there on display for you right now. You know, we don't want a pretty good team. We don't want an above average team. We want a championship. That's what we want. And that's what we hope for. And and the way the, the decisions that the Suns made, that's you you've given yourself what what you thought was a higher ceiling, even though it was a shorter window. So you want to win a championship because you decided to trade youth in the future mm-hmm. for the present. So you Ooh, you have like to, to win have in the present. Back. You have to win in the present. You have no yeah. choice. Yeah. Like to have the cams back, honestly. I do. I do uh, do regret and, that. And Mikhail. But, you know, yeah. it's just... It, Mikhail, it, too. Yeah. But that's because uh, I, I think Mikhail is probably the best of of them. Of oh, the three, I know. Yeah. I'm talking about the yeah. whole group, man. <clears throat> but I'm talking well, about I mean, the whole I, group. I, I, we talked about this yesterday at nauseum. I mean, it, we were talking about it sure be good to swing some sort of a trade to get Mikhail Bridges back. Is he available? No. Well, no. <laughs> but, I mean, we were just kind of, you know, we were fantasizing about maybe working some sort of a deal or, or if there was a way to do the Durant trade without having to give up Mikhail, that really, <laughs> right. That, that, that would have been pre- preferable, but that's exactly what the Nets wanted to make that happen. So, yeah, you know, but yeah, boy, it'd be sure be fun it, to see it, Mikhail it, it, Bridges on this team. So I, you know, I, I, I hate to uh, be that guy, but as I'm sitting here uh, looking at things, I'm starting to think about next year. I'm trying to wonder about, okay, so... For the Suns? Yeah. Ah, mm. I'm already thinking about next year and how to make this better. That uh, I know I know that's annoying to Keon. I, I he just, still thinks we have a chance this year. I, I do because I, I just think that... Like, I don't remember which texture it was that just said it. I, the West is loaded. Well, I mean... And so, it like, just... it makes a lot of their problems so much more glaring. But it's it's a loaded conference. You're going to... I mean, can they win? Uh, can they beat some of these teams in a seven game series? Yes, I, I actually think that still. Well, just you know, Friday night, if Bradley we were, Beal holds up. Um, just, just and, and Nurkic, last, which is that's the worst injury right now. Just last Friday night, we were in the uh, the playoffs. We were in not the play in. We were in the playoffs. We were in the sixth spot, and we yeah, lost in one night. Down, well, we in one night we lost and we dropped down to to to, to eighth. 
Mm-hmm. And, and then the Lakers played last night, and they gain a you know half game on us. And then the Kings lost last night, and we dropped behind the Kings. And it, we were in seventh, I think, and the Kings lost, and now we're in eighth. That, that's how crazy we could win tonight. The Kings could lose. We could sure. move back up into six. Yeah, I mean, so but that's why this whole thing to is win working every game. Well, it's, it, and that's win. Ex- it's exactly what Keon and I were talking about. Hey, we see how it, I just ra- I just said that in like three seconds. It took you guys an hour in. and a half yesterday. Well, no, we well, had an hour and a half because te- people were texting in and they oh, had yeah. their thoughts. Yeah. And we, I don't we, care about their thoughts. We, I care about my we thoughts. We listened to and I nailed it. It didn't take us an hour and a half to come to that conclusion. Thank you. <laughs> Kiss the Cuck says 110 wins for the Diamondbacks. Ooh, not gonna easy. go. No, no, no. no, no. Hmm. Why? Maybe we I should guess your, our wins. I, though. I, I love your exuberance, but mm. should we do we'll our do predictions that. when we come back? We could. I mean, we yeah. should do our predictions. Okay. Opening day is tomorrow. That's too late. So today we got to do our. But when we come back in the next hour. We'll have everybody uh, go ahead and register in their season predictions for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Really not sure. I got a number in my head, but I wonder if it's crazy. All right. And no, don't do the Price is Right rules thing, Randy. You can't say one. You can't do that. One. Hour three is next. The Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. Are you a victim of the Tomshire trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. We've helped over 30,000 families out of financial hardship by getting them out of bad timeshares. If your timeshare agreement goes on forever, if you were told timeshares are a great investment or your maintenance fees will never go up, you have questions, we have the answers. At Wesley Financial Group, we're dedicated to helping timeshare owners get out of their financial nightmare. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call now for your free timeshare exit information kit. Call 800-761-0000. That's 800-761-0000. 800-761-0000. Jeffrey O'Brien here, and congratulations. You just made it through the hottest summer in Arizona history. No lie. The only proof you need is in that electric bill. If you don't have solar, I wonder how bad it's going to get next year. You need to call Harmon Solar today. Harmon Solar could save you over 80% off your electric bills. They're a locally owned, family owned company. Call Harmon Solar for a free estimate. 800 281 3189. That's 800 281 3189, or go to harmonsolar.com. When it's time for the March Mania brackets to bust wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The Mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. Florida Stoppers. And when the madness starts and Cinderella, man steps under the. BetUS always has your back with. Back to back to back. 125% sign up bonuses on your first three deposits. And even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game. Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. It's March Madness. And the fairy tale ride continues. You can feel the madness. Oh my goodness. Three pointer. Good in the buzzer. March Madness on 1580 and 993. The Fanatic is presented by Harmon Solar, Kasai Japanese Steakhouse, Bet US, and Platinum Plus Cabaret. Catch all the excitement of the men's NCAA college basketball tournament on 1580 and 993. The Fanatic. The Renaissance Festival is back. It is now through March 31st. Great shopping, a giant crafts market. New shows featuring sea fairies, mermaids, and merriment. Non-stop feasting and more. The Renaissance Festival is back. Weekends now through March 31st. Discount tickets available at Bashes and Food City or ArizonaRenFestInfo.com. Presented by Delta Airlines, Bashes, Food City, Pepsi, Budweiser, and Guinness. KQF and Tempe. Also transmitting a K25CD Phoenix at 99.3 FM. And K24EU Fountain Hills at 95.9 FM. It's time for the third hour. Because it's time. Time for what? Showtime. When does it start? Right now. Three, 
two, one. Let's get on with the show. Let's do it. All right, everybody, it's 5 o'clock here on the Daily Blender. I'm your good friend, your radio pal, Jeffrey O'Brien, alongside Randy White. Got Keon Rose in the control room, and you guys are on the Fanatic text line, 888-368-1580, as we broadcast live in the Harmon Solar Studios in Scottsdale. I offered for uh, Ralph to be on the show today, but he said, uh, well, he wanted to go golfing. So, was he on the show at all this week? No. I guess if, if you're going to go golfing, this is the weather to golf in. Yes, I yeah, so. I mean, it's uh, yeah, going to be beautiful the rest of this week. Uh, some rain, though, uh, it might be coming in later. All right. Well, uh, you want to give us a, a weather forecast, Randy? You want me to do that right now? Well, I mean, if you're going to bring up the rain, you should bring up the weather forecast I mean, I, right now. I could, People I could, could use I, it. Well, I mean, I, I could probably do that. Uh, we pay for an awful lot of your weather equipment. I think that uh, maybe you, <sighs> it, it's time to make good on that. All right. From the uh, Harvard Solar 1580, the Fanatic Weather Center, Chief Meteorologist Randy White coming at you live currently under sunny skies. Uh, Chamber of Commerce Day, 77 beautiful degrees. Uh, dip down to 47 overnight low, 83 tomorrow, 82 on Friday, Saturday, 81. But then Sunday, rain expected in the forecast, about 50% chance and 66. Uh, more rain on Monday, 45% chance, and, uh, and then it'll be 67. But it's going to return back to the, uh, the upper 70s, low 80s uh, by halfway through next week. So uh, that's what you have. In store from the uh, Harman Solar 50, uh, 1580, the Fanatic Weather Center. Chief Meteorologist, back to you, Jeff Co. Thank you, Randy. And I think your your weather equipment is uh, so in tune, but I think it has cranked up the volume on your equipment where you're cracking now when you come through. So if you could back off your feet just a tiny bit. Against the Spread says, do you guys have a show tomorrow or is it going to be tournament coverage? Uh, well, we will have tournament coverage starting at 4 p.m. Uh, we've decided we are going to do a one-hour show from uh, three to four. But we won't be here Friday. Don't ask me any questions. 888-368-1580. <laughs> Hefty Lefty says, based off countless hours of watching the NBA and the MLS this year, I've crunched the numbers and predict Dimebacks will go 86 uh, and 76 this year. But isn't Major League Soccer, what? what is it? What? What does soccer have to do with this hefty lefty? Oh, you hefty lefty. Uh, here, uh, here's a shot for you. Thank you for that intuitive uh, uh, analysis. So, Randy, what is your uh, prediction for the Diamondbacks this year? Well, I mean, for the Diamondbacks, I, I think the Diamondbacks uh, 82 to uh, to 86 wins is reasonable for this team. Uh, with the nucleus they what have. You said last year, isn't it? It, it? With no, I think last year, I think 78, 76, something like that. What did they have this year? This last year. Uh, see. Oh, I've got it right here. Last year, your prediction was 80 wins for the Diamondbacks. There you go. There you go. 80 wins. I think 86 wins. I think the Giants have uh, have uh, in, uh, you know increased their value in the uh, American or in the National League West. I think the the Dodgers obviously spending over a billion dollars to to land a couple of great talents. We don't know how they're going to play out, but we know that uh, Mookie Betts is still on the team. Freddie Freeman is still on the team. Uh, we know that Shohei Otani is on the team, and he's going to bring, uh, you know, his uh, hitting prowess to that lineup. And, and I think they're going to be the uh, the National League West favorites. Uh, obviously, they should be. But All right. So I think you, uh, 80, 80 uh, you need to give me a number, not a through. Uh, I don't need a range. I want a number. Well, if I went 80 last year, I, I'll probably go 86 this year. I think we've upgraded our pitching staff and we've got a good nucleus of guys we're pretty okay. healthy okay 86 keon what do you think yeah I, I think i think about 85 wins um you're saying 85 that's your prediction that is my prediction your price is writing him yeah that's what he's doing yeah mm -hmm. so keon i'll say 87 <laughs> his price is right most of you both you blokes are just trying to <laughs> <laughs> but i also actually think 85 like i really i genuinely do Oh, I'm gonna have to text Ralph and see how many wins he says. Uh, he Maybe was he'll wrong. Say Twelve. Yeah. How many wins did the Diamondbacks have last year? I mean, that's just regular season, right? Not playoffs where we went yeah. to the World Series and Dodgers didn't. And swept the Dodgers, I believe. Okay. 
So who do you yeah. who do you have winning the World Series? Well, the Diamondbacks won eighty four last year. Mm. So I was right. I had eighty one. I was closest I, without I, going over. I th- I think you, you know. I still think you have to look at uh, you have to look at uh, you know the 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 regular names. You have to look at the uh, don't you say know, Yankees. You have to look at the teams you normally hear this time of year. Uh, you got Atlanta. You got Houston. Uh, I think you have to look at you know obviously the Dodgers. Uh, I I don't I don't think that any one of them stand out. I will say my my outside dark horse. Uh, to, to win it all from the American League will be the Baltimore Orioles this year. Okay. No, a, I mean, so you're saying deal, right? they'll win the World Series. I'm saying my dark horse to win the World Series this year will be the Baltimore Orioles. They could use uh, something good right now. Yeah. All and right, so. I will also say if, if, if for, uh, for what it's worth, I, I really like this Detroit Tigers team. Uh, they've got some pitching. They have some good young arms. And I look for the Detroit Tigers you can't pick two teams. No, I'm not picking a world championship here. I'm saying oh, the Detroit okay. Tigers right. will do well. Will be a, a surprise team this year. Right. And from Let's the National you. League, I, I, you know, I, as much as I want to go with the with the Diamondbacks, I, I think the Dodgers have to be the all-in favorite uh, to win the World Series from the National League. I understand what you were doing there, Randy, and I salute you, Keon. Who do you got winning the World Series? Uh... You know what? I'll 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 go ahead and say the Braves. I just I I just like that organization. I just think the way that they they operate, the fact that they retool every year, they're not afraid to spend money, but they don't really overdo it. Uh, Brian Snicker, their manager, is really good. Uh, they, they're always loaded with talent. Ronald Acuna is a I- extra innings watch. You know, if I'm not doing anything. Don't have any other team to really check out. I'll probably be watching Ronald Acuna because that guy's awesome to watch. So. Um. Yeah, Braves. I'm gonna go Braves. Okay. So uh, now, by the way, uh, for the uh, MVP in the American League, Randy and I were both right. We had Otani last year, and that's what happened. Uh, he won. And uh, right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. Mm-hmm. I was making sure. And uh, you had uh, Judge, and so did Ralph. So Keon, I'll let you start. Who do you have winning the American League MVP this year? AL MVP. Um, I'll go. I'll go. Randy Rosarena. I. He, Wait, what, how do you spell that? I, uh, what? Randy Rosarena. What'd you say? Randy Rosarena. He's with Tampa Bay. He's an outfielder for Tampa Bay. How do you spell that? Oh, please don't ask me that. A R O. I know how to say the guy's name. I don't. <laughs> You know what? Yeah. I'm sure if, if he yeah. actually wins, we'll know. We'll yeah. know. Randy, who do you, who do you got winning the American League MVP this year? Man, um, I, I'll you know I'll double down and say Otani. No, he can't because he can't. he's in. The, I'm sure he's well, no because he was in the American League last year. That's why yeah. the, the reflex yeah. is to say <laughs> Otani. Well, yeah, you know, I I don't know who to take in the American League. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I don't I don't know. I pass for right now. I have nobody right now. Well, I can't copy off your paper if you pass. <laughs> I I I just I just nobody stands out to me in the American League uh, as a uh, as an MVP candidate right now. I I I don't know who to say. Well, uh, um, how about Acuna? Yeah, he's National League. All right, and I'm t- for I'm the just National League. Names. For National League, I'm taking Mookie Betts to win the uh, National League MVP. That's who you had last year. I'm taking him this year. I mean, he's really good. If you pick Mookie Betts most years, you'll you'll be in the conversation. Okay, so I'm taking Juan Soto to win the National League for the, the American, American League. League. American I'm still League. fixated yeah, on the American yeah, League. He's a He's a damn Yankee now. Who? Uh, oh, wait, no, I can't take him. <laughs> I'm taking Julio Rodriguez. I'm, I'm just I'm, uh, J-Rod. There you go. Uh, Randy, who did you take for American League? Here's some names. Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, um, Julio Rodriguez, Corey Seager, Jordan Alvarez. Adley, I, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna take Bob, Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. with Kansas City. Still yeah, crack. He's good. 
Oh my God. Bobby Witt. <laughs> Bobby Witt Jr. Jr. All right. Maybe. Damn it, Bobby. All right, there it is. <laughs> All right. So now uh, for the National League, you got bets again. Yeah, I took bets again. And let's see. Who do you got, Keon? Uh, National League, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go Acuna. I was going to go Acuna. Okay, I mean, I was just talking. He's, he's my favorite player to watch. I said it first. Okay. We could both have the same one. It's... Oh, I know. I just. <laughs> so you got bets. He's got Acuna. Yeah, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> uh, that, that was. Uh, that I think that was going to be mine last year, too. So. I'll. Uh, Ooh, Acuna or bets? Yeah, yeah. Acuna. Acuna Matata. Um, I'll, uh, I'll text Ralph. Well, maybe he's already texted me the answer here. Uh, hmm. Oops. I just got, uh, well, hmm. That's odd. I, uh, I have an emergency text. I have to handle a thing for some boneheads in another state on a radio station. Go ahead and talk amongst yourselves about All everything right. we've been talking about here. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> uh, so in the World Series, I want to go back to the World Series. I mean, the 2024 World Series, who really knows? Uh, but so, Keon, what's your matchup for the 2024 World Series? Great question. I, I don't know exactly off the top of my head who I think from the American League is is going to get there. Like, I think I think the Braves are winning it. <laughs> Um, okay. Just because I just I think they're so consistent that that just generally carries in the playoffs. Uh, but the American League, they've got they've got so many good teams and the American Le- League East by itself has a ton. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, yeah. I don't what know. If the Blue I feel... Jays have a breakout season and they just, uh, you know, rob, steal and destroy in the, in the American League East. I mean, uh, what if the uh, uh, what if the, the Devil Rays do it again? I'm sorry, the Rays. Uh, do it again. Uh, how about that Twins team from uh, from uh, Minnesota? I mean, the Twins came on there towards the end, and you, I, I don't think you can count Texas out of the out of the equation. I mean, from the American League, no. certainly Houston's got to be getting older. They're, they're so getting older, but there might still be enough there. You know, and there, like, there might be one more run for them. Um, I, I, I I still feel like Baltimore. In my opinion, Baltimore's young. They're exciting. They're vibrant. They've got a good core. They've got They've got good pitching. They've they haven't been stupid. Uh, they've got new ownership now. Uh, I I think I think Baltimore is on their on the way up. I, I Baltimore could be in the mix. Remember they won the East last season. They they won the American League East last season. And I mean I I think their their season was actually more surprising than the Diamondbacks as far as the regular season goes because they're the Orioles. I don't know. Like I don't think anybody yeah. saw the season that they had last year. Yeah. Winning the American League East? No, nah, I don't. I don't think anybody saw that coming. Okay, seems, seems like I'm to back. me there's, uh, you know, there's a number of teams to really, uh, but I, you know, like I said uh, to Jeffrey, and I'll, I'll, I'll just end with this. I, I think Atlanta, L.A. Uh, are your teams from the National League to come out of the National League and <clears throat> buy for the championship, uh, and then probably L.A. going all the way with. I, it would be a huge disappointment if the Dodgers don't go all the way to the World Series. And win with this kind of payroll. <laughs> uh, I ain't gonna say nothing. Just going. <laughs> it's a lot. It's mm. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Big George says the Diamondbacks will win ninety games. Wow. Oh, George. And uh, yeah, listen, maybe, but uh, why? Uh, uh, he says better than last year, but not as good as the Dodgers, who will finish in first place with 102. Giants will finish third. Uh, well, nobody asked you about these other guys. I only cared about the Diamondbacks. Clay Nigma says 99 wins, 63 losses, and then they win the division. If they can peak at the right time, like last year, then they go through everyone in the National League like a chupacabra through a goat herd. Wow. That is very specific. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Clay Nigma, good to hear from you. Uh, Hefty Lefty says, soccer has nothing to do with my baseball prediction. That's why my prediction is pure guesswork. Oh. Been watching a lot of soccer. That's why. Got it. 
Uh, Pierre says, Oh, attends, Randy, et Randy, on dit tout à la semaine, que du série. Oh, I gotta hit translate. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I don't even know what I was saying there. Hang on just a minute. The, 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 the French accent is great. The actual French could. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not even could, close. <laughs> could you say this? Wait, Randy and Keon have been saying all week you'll be off tomorrow because the sweet 16. Not a reason show. Oh, you guys have been saying we, that the, we specifically we, said you would be back today. So I have no idea what today. Pierre's talking about, man. I don't, I don't know what he means by we're going to be off Thursday and Friday. I did say that the, the Sweet 16 game started at four o'clock. So it will be short shows. Yeah. Uh, one I, one I, short I did, show. Yeah, I did not know we were Friday was. Uh, yeah, but sh- 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 you're just not going to be here. Mm-hmm. Good mm-hmm. Friday on religious reasons. We will not be here. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep, yep, yep. He says, oh, no, I booked a dinner at Brazil, Francois, Henry, restaurant and lounge at 7 p.m. What should I do? Huh. Um, I don't know. Stop being so damn French. I don't know. Yeah. Listen, listen to the podcast. Is that, a, is, that a, is that a place here in town? Hmm? Oh, I, I couldn't tell you. He's in Canada. Oh, he went. He's, ah. he's already back. Okay. All right. Then. I suppose he might yeah. have mentioned that before. I, I think he might have. Yeah. Lacrosse guy says the Diamondbacks will only get 77 wins. He says, I'm sorry. Last year was a fluke. Well, fluke you. <laughs> Last year was a fl- How do you say that? Yeah. I, I don't know. I think baseball is one of those sports where it's hard to fluke for a whole year, bring back the same people, add more talent, and and not be able to repeat that to some degree. I, just, I don't. How can how can you say last year was a fluke? You had to play series of games. <laughs> how is that a fluke? <laughs> you swept I mean, if, two if of you're, them. If you're if you're playing one game and you win, okay, I could see the fluke. But, but yeah, when you had to play that. You had to, first you had to win the wild card game. Then you had to go to the uh, uh, the uh, divisional series, win that series. Then you had to go and win the NLCS, which you swept. Then you had to go compete for the world. How is that a fluke? It's just a fluke, Randy. You just have to accept it. It's just, I, it, I, I'm just <laughs> stunned over that. I mean, look, there are teams that have breakout years and then they can't repeat it. But usually those teams don't bring back everybody. Usually it's somebody's it a, gone here. Was and, it a fluke for Texas, too? I, good night. I mean, I, if, you, if we're talking NCAA tournament, flukes happen all the time. 12s beat. Fives, thirteens sure. beat fours, tens beat sevens, and then you play a one-off game. You're hot. You can go. Baseball. Th- this is the one sport where flukes just don't happen as much. You know, they baseball, happen, but come on. Baseball, hockey, and and and, and basketball. How how do you? I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I a just fluke done. entire season. I Even can't. if your season is an outlier, that doesn't make it a fluke because you you had to win majority of the games in a 162 game schedule. And I just don't know how you fluke into that. I mean, I respect what you said, but wow. I, I, I have to I, disagree. I, I do respect it, but that's all right. <laughs> I don't think you have to disagree dis- respectfully. I think you can disagree disrespectfully too, if you feel like it. Yeah. I just, a statement like that. If I, th- there are statements I disagree with that I, that I respect. I just not, I, we're just not coming from the same place, but in this particular one, you're going to have to explain to me how that would happen (laughs) and why before you just say, yeah, it was a fluke year. They won 80 games, swept two teams in the postseason, and went to the World Series. Yeah, he said it was only a fluke three less games. Yeah. (laughs) That's what he's saying. Yeah. So so then what are we saying here? Against the spread says, nothing effectively. <laughs> Diamondbacks are 20 to 1 to win the NL this year. I wouldn't grab that ticket because the odds would be about the same if they got a wild card at the end of the regular season. So, no point in sitting on a ticket all season long when Vegas is giving you the worst odds at the start yeah. of the season when yeah. there is plenty of time for things to go wrong for you as a gambler. I uh, agree. Preseason future bets on sports are one of the sports books' favorite honey traps for sucker betters. We thank you for that advice. But we didn't ask you that. What we asked you is how many wins do you think the Diamondbacks will have? That's what we want to know against spread. Don't worry. We're not going to hold you to it uh, and say, oh, we bet on that. That's, that's not what we're doing. We just want what to know did what I you say? think. 86? I think 86. You said 86. I said 87. 
Keon said 85. Mm -hmm. Ralph is going to say 52. That's what he'll do. <laughs> Whistling Gerber, uh, Gerbil says Seeger for American League uh, MVP. Could happen, but I almost wrote that down too. Whistling Gerbil. That's not a bad one. Brunswick guy says, Randy, I love you, man, but I bet my right nut that nobody from the Kansas City Royals is going to win the American League MVP. Bobby Wade Jr., man. You mean so that goes that on the, the nut play. that goes on the driver's side uh, wheelbase? Which is that just, the nut? Or are you facing the vehicle? I think he's talking testicle. Mm. Mm. I, Sheriff I Tom. That that means testicle, yeah. Sheriff Tom says Orioles, Cubs, World Series. Who wow. wins? Who wins, Sheriff Tom? Mm. Beer Bob says, I know you guys don't click on links, but here's a link. No, I'm just. No. <laughs> What? It won't. It physically will not open in the program. Click on Nick. So yeah. this one. It just. <laughs> he says no. Check out the hilarious message from Pete Rose. Oh boy, I know where that's going. Oh, it's about Otani. <laughs> I bet somebody used AI to to fake Pete Rose's voice, which is scary enough. Beer Bob says Jordan Alvarez, Adley Richman, Bobby Witt Jr., Gunnar Henderson. Ooh, Gunnar Henderson. Thanks. There's another one. That's that kid right there. He's something special. Pineapple Express says, uh, thanks, Jeffrey, for helping me out with my radio station here in Hawaii. We couldn't be on the hair, uh, air without your help. Well, it was, that was a station in, uh, in California I just helped out. <laughs> okay, I just want to know what it was. Sure, why not? The sun was in their eyes. Oh, no. They're, they're out on a remote and the sun was in their eyes. And he's calling you to fix it? Well, no, I just like, we got to go to network. <laughs> anyway, so. <clears throat> you didn't think to just turn away from the sun? Just none of my business. The sun is in your eyes. It, it's a very slow mood, moving object just, relative to us. Just saying. Just turn away from the I, sun. Don't know. Okay. Don't All know. Right. Uh, Kiss the Cook says, I'm changing my Diamondbacks prediction. He says, I'm going with a 5-3 win-loss ratio. We're not doing math for you. We're not doing it. Hook'em Hottie says, yes, Randy, it was a fluke for Texas. They've had a bad bullpen, and we're expected to, to be near the bottom. Well, I don't think it was a fluke for Texas because, first of all, you had Bruce Bochy that came in there. You upgraded your... You upgraded your, your your offense. You brought in some veteran uh, help. Yeah, okay, your bullpen was a little staggering, but uh, they went out and got some help, uh, uh, like the kid that we just picked up uh, uh, for, for the Diamondbacks, and he was lights out during the stretch. They played out of their head baseball, and, and uh, look, they had to beat a, a Houston team uh, to, to get in there. Uh, they had to beat uh, some really good competition. I don't think it was a fluke. I, 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 I can't see using the word fluke in this case. In, now, <laughs> it, improbable long shot for the Texas Rangers to win their first ever franchise World Series. Okay, I could go with that, but not fluke. Booze and Raider just being a bastard. He goes, they'll win 23 games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah have another drink. Bruno Baller says, don't sleep on the Reds this year. They could surprise some people. That's true. Quiet Cannon says, sorry, I just tuned in, getting caught up. I don't know much about betting, but aren't the Diamondbacks a good bargain right now as far as betting to win the National League or at no. least get in the playoffs? No. no, I think they're favored in a lot of ways. So, by the way, on your uh, Twitters, if you go to at Radio Pal 1580, you will see that I have posted the link for uh, the BetUS uh, Wiener job application. To, to measure wieners. Uh, just go see it and you'll understand. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. This is Brent Musburger's action update on 1580 and 99.3, The Fanatic. Get insights into the sports betting market with v betting splits. See where the money is and keep updated on how the market is reacting. Only at VSIN.com. Now, here are the latest lines from my guys in the desert. The Major League Baseball season starting for most teams on Thursday. Aaron Judge is the betting favorite to finish the regular season with the most home runs of anybody in the league. 
Judge is at plus 700 to be the home run champion. The Mets' Pete Alonso is at plus 800. Kyle Schwarber of the Phillies, plus 900. Matt Olson of the Atlanta Braves, also plus 900. While Jordan Alvarez of the Houston Astros and Shohei Otani of the Los Angeles Dodgers, who will only hit this season and not pitch, both are plus 1,100 to be crowned this year's home run champions. I'm Tony Desiri with your VEASAN Action Update on 1580 and 99.3 The Fanatic. <clears throat> Can't sleep with this cold. Honey. <clears throat> honey? Honey, you need NyQuil Severe Honey. NyQuil Severe Honey gives you powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a dreamy honey taste. Feeling better, honey? Honey? I'll take that as a yes. Try NyQuil Severe Honey for powerful cold and flu symptom relief. NyQuil Severe with honey flavor. The nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, fever. Honey delicious, best sleep with a cold medicine. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. You know, it seems like everybody's talking about the traffic on Valley Roads these days. You know what else everybody's talking about? The absolute best restaurant to take your family and friends to. Kasai Japanese Steakhouse. Now with two Valley locations. No one does it better than Kasai, where talented Teppan chefs create the food, the fire, and the fun of teppanyaki. Kasai Japanese Steakhouse is dinnertainment at its best, where a delicious seven-course meal is prepared right at your table with flair. It's a perfect choice for any occasion. Choose from over 50 different items and combinations of teppanyaki. Looking for great dining without the show? Kasai offers an awesome selection on Asian-inspired dishes and tasty sushi. Happy hour deals daily from 6 p.m. and enjoy outdoor dining on the heated patio. So whether you're here for spring training, March Madness, or just to enjoy the Arizona sunshine, don't just take your guests to dinner. You take them to Kasai Japanese Steakhouse with two locations, Scottsdale and now in Peoria at the 101 in Northern. Go to KasaiTeppan.com That's K-A-S-A-I Teppan.com or search Kasai on your mobile phone. Come join American Furniture Warehouse and see our amazing deals on sofas, sectionals, recliners, bedroom furniture and mattresses, dining room furniture and accessories. AFW has the latest styles, largest selection and lowest prices anywhere. Our warehouses are full and ready for you to take your new furniture home today. At American Furniture Warehouse, you'll find the perfect items for your space at a price you'll love. Visit one of our three Phoenix area showrooms or shop online at AFW.com. AFW.com. In business, service is everything. Cintas delivers what you need to better serve your customers. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, tested and inspected fire protection systems, first aid and safety supplies, on-site AED training, or mops and restroom products stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together. So visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the work day. Hey, what's up, everybody? Ken Barkley here reminding you to check out You Better, You Bet. Why, you ask? Well, because we bring the fun, the insight, and all the wagertainment you need. Plus, hopefully, we win a couple bets along the way. From up-to-the-minute breakdowns of backdoor covers, bad beats, and the cheers and tears that come with them, obviously. Plus, betting analysis from some of the best minds in the sports wagering world. Join myself and Nick Costos and tune into You Better, You Bet. Weekdays from noon to 3 on Arizona Sports Betting Station 1580 and 99.3, The Fanatic. Today is Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. All right, well, I, I guess uh, we have reason to have uh, some optimism. Uh, we just got done uh, getting to the World Series last season. Uh, we have some improvements for the team this season. Hey, let's just hope for the best. And remember, there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. There's going to be win streaks, there's going to be lose streaks. That's just the nature of things. And I still think my best advice to everybody and everything is uh, just each game by itself. Just each game, enjoy that as it is. Because, you know, that game I went to last year with my kids, and I was like, wow, this is felt like a turning point. Because I'd seen some uh, games on TV, and at that moment, from that uh, point forward Corbin Carroll was like a made man but uh you know that game the Dimebacks were not favored to win we went there kind of expecting they were going to lose you know it was a good team they were playing can't remember who it was but uh they were able to rally and and, and come from behind and win that game right there at the end mm-hmm. it was a great day and they, we were all high fiving each other and it was just crazy so uh, you know each game by itself 
no matter what happens, you know, just just take it that way for the entertainment value. Try not to get too stressed because guess what? That's how the players have to look at it too. Each game, they're just trying to get a win, just trying to get a win, and not uh, stressing about standings and stuff like that. Uh, Beer Bob says, I sent you that link on old uh, Twitter, their uh, X or whatever the hell they're calling it. All right, I'll take a look at that and I'll repost that up there if, if it's uh, if it's good. Uh, Tia was says. Man, I thought you guys had gotten canned in favor of D3 women's basketball and the like. Welcome back. Now, no, no. Radio Ron would not let us be preempted for that. But we are contractually obligated to carry the NIT uh, semifinals and finals. (laughs) There's nothing I can do about it. Next Tuesday, uh, I believe, is the NIT uh, semifinals. I think I'm right. Is it next Tuesday? I think it's next Tuesday. <laughs> Whatever day that is, yeah, we <clears> won't <throat> be here. <laughs> Darn! I think. Uh, the I mean, I'm checking. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I hope I hope Indiana State makes it. I might actually watch that one. We won't make it. No, we won't be there. Uh, it, NIT uh, is uh, is <laughs> taking over Tuesday. Now the NIT championship, it's not going to interfere with Thursday's show because it's on later that day. So there you go. Uh, anyway, thank you, uh, thank you for asking to us. Uh, Kess the Cook says, "I'm applying for the Wiener job." Good luck to you, pal. Good luck to you. Haruto is on the text line. Says, "Hello, Mr. O'Brien, Mr. Rose, Mr. White. Sorry for being late to the program, but what are you all doing in preparation for the total solar eclipse on April 8th? Are there any shows yet?" Uh, I'm doing absolutely nothing because where we are, it's only going to be 60%. So we're not, it's not going to be, it's going to get dim for a moment. And that's it. Nothing impressive about trying to watch an eclipse from here. There's like this stretch of Texas. Unless it's a a total eclipse of the heart. If, if Bonnie shows up, then yes, but we're, you know, she'll be in Texas. So uh, yeah, that's it. it. I don't know. Are there any shows yet? I don't know why you're asking that. You mean like Eclipse shows? Eclipse specials? <laughs> I don't know. Can I be honest with you? I'm kind of over eclipses. I yeah. still think they're interesting. If you have a, if you get the total eclipse, that's still fun to me. Mm-hmm. Um, just because the, uh, at least when I was in Tennessee, I was I was actually moving the day of an eclipse, and then it got really dark. But the part that that was crazy was that all of the the bugs and animals and stuff that come out at night thought it was night so they just yeah. started coming out that was it was weird and creepy but it was also kind of cool so it was about five years ago that we stood around and i got uh, I, I made the uh special look at uh you know the eclipse cd thing you know you use the cds to to see it and then i, I, did, I did the paper plate thing you know where you make the hole in the paper plate and then you can see the shape and everything and, and i did that um wasn't impressed just wasn't impressed. And I, I I can't remember what the percentage was that we were in last time this happened. Uh, but no, it was not full for us then either. I mean, if I was in a place where it's full, okay, yes. Now now I'll stand there and I'll get the special glasses and I'll, 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 I'll do the thing. But even then, I mean, once you've seen an eclipse, it just seems like an awful lot of work for not much of anything. Yeah, I agree. You know what I'm I saying? I agree. Yeah. So... There will be a show that day, Haruto. <laughs> He's like thinking maybe we wouldn't do a show because there's an eclipse. He thinks that we we just get off for any old reason. <laughs> no, if Westwood One didn't broadcast it, we can't <clears throat> we can't use it as a reason to get out of work. <laughs> but if they did, oh my gosh, guess what? <laughs> April eighth is the same day as the national championship game. Oh, the eclipse I think is not at the same time as the game, is it? I, that I, seems like a bad omen. You should check that. What time? Our time. Because the national championship game coverage starts at 4.30. I think tip-off is going to be sometime after 5 p.m. But uh, if we're still here. What do you mean, if we're still here? If we're still here. What do you mean? If we're, oh, you mean if we don't get fired? Right. Oh. Now, I'm okay with that. Keon's looking it up. If we're going to get fired? No, How the eclipse. What time the eclipse? Hey, try oh, to keep up, Randy. Sorry. Anyway, uh, we got a few points of man uh, talk that we do need to cover right here. Uh, one of them is your man of the day 
is a guy from Salem, Oregon. And before you ask, no, he's not homeless. Anyway, uh, he's a World War II veteran. <laughs> no, man, like half of everyone in Portland is homeless. It's crazy up there. <laughs> anyway, 98-year-old guy, and he volunteers for wheel uh, Meals on Wheels. No kidding. Good for him. Yeah. So here's a couple of things. World War II vet that's still alive. Good for you, buddy. Plus, uh, you're 98 years old, and you're still volunteering for Meals on Wheels. Double plus. Mm. Even better. Maybe not great for the other people on the road. I just don't know if he should be driving at 90. Is he is he driving it though? Or, or does he have somebody helping him? He's delivering meals on wheels. No kidding. Yes. All right. All right. Well, he still has his driver's license. He's had it since he was 17. So, you know, when cars came out. And uh I guess uh I guess he's still uh, driving around delivering uh, the meals. Well, good. You know what? I I hope it's in a Sherman tank. Yeah. I I'd be cool with that. But uh, yeah, he's just uh, he does eighteen meals a day. Uh, um, eighteen, good for him. And he only wow. does this one day a week. At ninety eight, that is plenty. But I'm still, impressed. I mean, eighteen stops to to deliver meals. Wow, and this guy, good for him. This guy. Uh, let me tell you about this guy. Uh, he got a purple heart. He uh, got some shrapnel in him, uh, right in the waistband, uh, a couple inches away from. You know, disaster. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he says, uh, you know, he felt lucky. He said, hurt. He says, but uh, I was wearing all kinds of belts and leather and jackets. He said it went through about three levels of uh, leather. Uh, so that would help to save his life. And he says, uh, felt pretty lucky to get out of the life. So spent the last 30 years making it count by helping out people. By delivering the meals on wheels. Good for so, him. That's a good dude right good there. Good for him. Yeah. So uh, Ralph uh, is his name. Don't hold that against him. I'm trying to find where his last name is, but they don't list his last name. Probably for his privacy. Anyway, so uh, that is your man of the day. Uh, our uh, poor bastard of the day. You know, you know, usually when we do man talk, we talk about some poor bastard. You know yes. why. Yeah. He's, he's done something that mm -hmm. his wife is going to hold over his head for the rest of his life. That's generally the poor bastard uh, level. Hey, have you guys ever done this where you leave like a cup of coffee on the roof of your car and you drive off or you leave, you, you put something there and you're doing something, you drive away and it falls off. I mean, I've, I have never done that. Yeah. I haven't done that either. I just wanted to not make you feel bad if you did. Keon. Uh, yeah, I've done that with various water bottles. Over the I've years. done worse. I don't like to talk about this. <laughs> I pulled up. I was going to have lunch with a, a friend. I pulled up to a parking lot at his work, and then we got in his car and we drove off. We had a great lunch, about an hour and a half, came back, and I was like, where are my keys? And I walked up to my car, and it was still running. Oh! Yeah. I just left him in there with the vehicle on, got in the car, and drove off. <laughs> yeah, I did that. It was in the 90s. I was younger. I was younger then. It was still pretty that's embarrassing. Yeah, was wow. it the Belvedere? No, no, no. Yeah, that's too bad. No, <laughs> that thing would have not lasted an hour and a half of gas. No. Anyway, so a uh, guy in Australia, uh, this poor bastard, he uh, he left something on the roof of his car um, that belonged to his fiance, her two thousand dollar wedding dress. Oh no! Drove away. Oh no! Dress gone. Oh, no. So the dress was in a box, so they might find it. It might be okay, but they, uh, last I heard, they hadn't found it. A uh, $2,000 dress, and they offered a $500 reward for it. I don't know if this is the good news or not, but he's like, hey, she, uh, she's still going to marry me. I Maybe don't do it. Cool. Because oh, no. she's anything, she's like, did you remember to bring up the cans? You don't have to tell me. Of course, I remembered. Like you remembered my dress for the rest of his life. Yep. Like That's you true. remembered the dress. That's true. He, he did remember the <clears throat> dress. He just didn't remember to put it in the actual car. He's never going to win an argument for the rest of his life with this person. He just needs a dumper right now. Wow. wow. That is my advice. Because <laughs> she's never going to let it go. Constantly. This poor bastard. You poor bastard of the day. Tell me I'm wrong. No, you are. 
You are spot on, sir. I've never been married, so I don't, I don't really have any input here. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> they did a poll. And this is dance uh, or hmm? dance? What? No, no, no. Uh, uh, two, two survey. Else. A survey. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. People are, uh, you know. Well, they were asked, do you think you could take a grizzly bear in a fight? No. Six percent of people say they could. They could beat up a grizzly bear. People are <laughs> sadly mistaken. They, I can't wait to see the video. You, yeah. you, you see grizzly bears on on TV and in movies and stuff like that, and they're and they're just not good at conveying how massive grizzly bears are, and also how damn mean. They're like twelve feet tall and they're like, <sighs> like that. They are apex predators for a reason. And listen, yeah. Karen, if you can't handle a bison at the Yellowstone National Park, you're definitely not going to handle a grizzly bear. <clears throat> Yeah. Interesting facts about grizzly bears. The inland area population run around 600 pounds. Mm -hmm. Grizzly bear. Go ahead. Then they they get up even higher than that. So it's just if you if you look at Mike Tyson right now and say to yourself, like most normal human beings, I cannot beat a 60 year old Mike Tyson in a fight. You're not beating Mm. a grizzly bear. You're just not. What? Toby has a fair question about that. oh, Oh, boy. You know, uh, to your point about Mike Tyson, is the grizzly bear alive? Yes, well, of course. <laughs> well, don't assume anything. If, I it's, could... if it's already dead, somebody else beat it. Yeah. That, that just not you. Big George says, "My wife Alexa says you're spot on uh, about say yeah. I told you uh, about your analysis of the guy who left the wedding dress on top of the car and drove away. She yeah. will never let him live that down." And neither will her sisters, her, her friends, her neighbors, complete strangers. He needs to move away, change his name, find a new woman. He doesn't have to change his name. <laughs> no, 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 no. Trust me. I think, it, yeah, I think that's, a good, that's a good point right there. Glendale Mullet says that the eclipse is at night. Well, then, well that's you... no fun. I mean, it's not an eclipse if it happens. It, oh, he says, no, it, Jeffrey, the solar eclipse does not happen at night. Well, 4.30 is not at night. Yeah, the, this, by the way, is uh, 12.27. Our time is the... PM? PM. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, during lunch... Then. Because you need the sun out for a solar eclipse. <clears throat> of course, it's not going to be at night. No, I feel like that's probably a prerequisite. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, let's take a break. We'll come back. We got on this date in Big George's sports history. It's a daily blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles, with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800-736-6158 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-736-6158. That's 800-736-6158. What do you have to lose? Call 800-736-6158. Again, 800-736-6158. It's March Madness, and the fairy tale ride continues. You can feel the madness. Oh my goodness! Three pointer, good in the buzzer. March Madness on 1580 and 993. The Fanatic is presented by Harvin Solar, Kasai Japanese Steakhouse, Bet US, and Platinum Plus Cabaret. Catch all the excitement of the men's NCAA college basketball tournament on 1580 and 993. The Fanatic. In business, service is everything. Cintas delivers what you need to better serve your customers. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable tested and inspected fire protection systems, first aid and safety supplies, on-site AED training, or mops and restroom products stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together. So visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the work day. All right, so there we were. 
cruising through the new open air zoo when I realized that the park was closing in like 15 minutes. That's when the afternoon took an exciting turn. Luckily, we were in my Nissan Rogue. With its powerful DC turbo engine, well, we had more than enough time to see all the animals. Whoa! <laughs> and I'll run a few! Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get the 2023 Nissan Rogue with best-in-class fuel economy among gas engines. Availability is limited. Shop at your local Nissan store or at NissanUSA.com. Auto Pacific segmentation, excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2023 EPA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2023 Nissan Rogue. As shown, Nissan Rogue Platinum all-wheel drive, 28 city, 34 highway. Actual mileage may vary. So, what's your favorite thing about sports? The excitement, the action, or the five meat pizza and the six pack? Bingo. That's what we thought. 1580 and 99.3 The Fanatic, and always on at 1580thefanatic.com. Hey, Linda here on 15. The fanatic, and uh, okay, I'm trying to open up here, Bob's uh, text or tweet or whatever the hell it is in the X now. Uh, the, the Pete Rose said, "I'll try to, I'll try to share that with you guys on the Twitters." Does anybody go to Twitter anymore? Is that even still a thing? I'm, uh, I, I I'm not on there anymore. Yeah, Randy's not on, but I'm, I'm on. Oh, I posted a picture of you and me, Randy. I did post a, a picture of you and me today. Really? Uh, on the uh, on the X? Yeah, it was a picture of us uh, from 1993, and uh, just uh, thought maybe it'd be fun to put up there. People Boy, that's a, that's a thousand years ago, wasn't it? it? Yeah, and it's a shame you can't see it. So I guess I'll uh, mail it to you, like actual mail, like a stamp and everything. Just You can email it. Hmm? You can email it. Oh, okay. You, I, I thought maybe you got rid <laughs> of everything. No, I'm just, I'm not on the stupid social media websites anymore. All right, because I, I knew you like became Amish. So, oh no, I'm not Amish. No, I'm just uh, I feel I like just you're Amish. Refuse to uh, partake in the stupidity that has uh, become social media. See, I don't participate in the stupidity. I just uh, I have blocked so many people <laughs> and deleted so many people and muted so many people if they get on my nerves. I I don't let it get to me. <clears throat> I just, I don't care what anybody thinks. That's a uh, you know I don't get I don't get caught up in the drama. Uh, nor I, do I. I. I mute people on the left and people on the right. I, everybody. I, I probably have uh, defriended and muted more people than I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Just complete strangers and yeah. Yeah. like, nope, click. <laughs> no problem. I just, uh, I, for me, it was just the right thing to do. I just hey, have uh, no uh, listen, for. you go, you live your life the way you want to. You but it makes do it, you. But it makes it harder for me to, to share funny things with you, though. Well, it's not like I'm died. You know, I, I have a phone. You can text you, me. You've online died. <clears throat> well, I've gone off the grid. Let's put it that way. You've done uh, Internet Harry Carey. Uh, no, I haven't done it Harry Carey quite some time. It's not what I mean. <laughs> hey, yeah. Cubs got to win today. Hey, you know, we gone like uh, it'll be when we're done here, three hours without talking any football. It feels that's wrong sad in some parts. That's sad. I think that is a that's probably prohibited by federal law, isn't it? Let's do something real quick before I do the on this right. date in All big right. Georgia sports history. All right. So I know you guys talked about the new kickoff rules. And we did. yeah, we did. how that's been uh, that's been made official. Did you talk about how the hip drop tackle uh, has been banned? We did, and mm -hmm. we talked about the uh, the backlash from uh, mm -hmm. uh, many many players and the players' union. Mm -hmm. We did talk about that. Did you talk about how the coaches uh, can make a third replay challenge if either either of their first two challenges are successful? See, we talked a little about that. I and don't both agree. Ken with and I, I, both Ken and I agree the same thing. I think you are. Yeah. You should have to get them both right. Yes. to get a third. 
100% agree. Because what ends up happening is if you've gotten the first one already, you know you have the second one to play with. Mm-hmm. So you, you're more likely to use that one on a on a challenge that's sillier. Maybe We're just you, tired. You have a, an outside chance of getting it. I want to challenge it. But you guys got a first down. I want to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. So now the offense can now be assessed a penalty for a major foul in a play where the offense throws an interception or loses the fumble, even if the foul took place before the change of possession and the defense also committed a penalty on the play. Hmm. Yeah, that's the offsetting one that Ken hmm. and I didn't quite understand. That I, I, I just read I, it out I, loud. I, read, I don't know. I read it later, and I think I understand it better, which is basically um, if there was a, a penalty from on both sides, offense and defense, but the ball was turned over previously, the defense got penalized, but the offense, because they no longer had the ball, didn't. Uh-huh. So now the, the penalties will offset with the change of possession, as opposed to just the side that got the ball getting punished. But this does not change possession. No. Uh, be, uh, doo-doo foul. This is just. Uh, no. Okay. No. It's Did just, you just say doo-doo foul? I said doo-doo, doo-doo foul. <laughs> <laughs> I love doo-doo. Uh, <laughs> Replay can now be used to overturn a ruling that the quarterback was down or out of bounds before he threw a pass. Mm, okay. Uh, replay can now be used to determine whether a game clock expired before the ball was snapped. I like it. You know what, though? If you're going to do that, you better put the tenths of a second on. Did they decide to do that? Ooh, that's I, a good question. I didn't see that one go through. I think I, you need I, to I put didn't that specifically up look for it, but I, I didn't see that one uh, go through for him. So that's uh, that. That's the main rules right there. They did approve some bylaws. I don't know. Nobody cares. That trade deadline. That's a big one. Got moved to Tuesday after Week Nine, and then they did some stuff with the uh, backup quarterback on the practice squad. Uh, yeah, that's stuff they should have known how to do uh, anyway. So I ain't gonna worry about the rest of this. So, anyways, now uh, we've talked about the NFL rules changes. I'm okay with. I think. All of them except for the the challenge thing. I think, yeah, they, they I think they got that one kind of wrong. Did I see? Uh, did I see that they were they they were discussing um, an on site uh, 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 eye in the sky type official? Did I read that somewhere, or was that was that a dream? I remember they were talking about it, but it didn't show up on this list. Okay, all right. But I, I thought think I that... heard them talking about an on, actual oh, on site no, no. eye in the sky. I, I think that is kind of what they're talking about with some of the replay uh, rules. I think they're doing some of that there. I could be wrong. I don't know. Just another face in the crowd says, hey, if somebody's doing a Harry Carey impersonation there, it's mandatory for them to be drunk. Not mandatory, but Randy tends to. That's his go to position. Well, yeah, well, you got to really get in character, you know. Hey, listen, the Cubs are up 17-4. Why not have an icy cold Budweiser? Why not? Why not? Or or four or five? Who's who's counting? Who's counting? Really? I mean, Steve Stone's not in here. <laughs> I do appreciate Dan Campbell and his. Uh, he's like a, he's like an innocent child a little bit, you know. Yeah, he's all like Dan Campbell. Is. Yeah, he's We're like, gonna but, bite their knees off. He's a crazy. Uh, <laughs> a crazy man. I think he's like a crazy he's, man. There's yeah. an innocence to him because he says he says. The unknowns of the kickoff rule. They got people spooked, but that excites me. <laughs> um, <laughs> just a root. Just why yeah. does that just because just yeah. excited about anything? Well, yeah. I and mean, also coaches are always looking for an edge. You change the rules. The first coach to figure out how to get the most out of those rules for themselves. They're they're the winner, essentially. Oh, well, it's and, like like the Steelers, right, Keon? I mean, they went out and got yeah, Cordero Patterson. As, as, right soon, as soon as the rules changed, they went out and got Cordero Patterson. So everyone's trying to get an edge. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Dan, and Dan Campbell um, thinks he, he might have fear. one. <laughs> he thinks he might have one is what it is. <laughs> hmm. I don't think that's uh, all right. Fine, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for On This Date in Big Georgia's Sports History. Back in the year 1893. Lord Stanley's Cup, a silver bowl that cost its owner 10 guineas, the equivalent of $50 today, was donated as an annual award for Canada's Amateur Hockey Championship by Frederick Arthur Lord Stanley of Preston. 
Pro National Hockey Association, forerunner of the NHL, took possession of the Cup in 1910 as a symbol of supremacy. Yeah, so, uh, but here's the thing. Isn't every year there's a new Stanley Cup made and that's what's given to people? It's not the same one that just uh, I, travels I, around I, all the time, is it? I think it's the same one. and I, I think thought it was, and then somebody tears. told me it wasn't. The, would they put the tears of their they, they, the defeated people They put people a new ring on the bottom. I, I, I mean, I thought I could be wrong. I I thought it was uh, it was the the original cup. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Well, if it's the original cup, it says that today the Stanley Cup is the most valuable trophy among North American sports, coming in at six hundred fifty thousand dollars. I feel like if that was the original one from eighteen ninety three, it's probably worth uh, priceless. It would be millions, millions. So I think they get a each team gets their own Stanley Cup, like each team gets its own Lombardi well, Trophy. Well, I know that each team gets a replica, but uh, each team, the champions of uh, of the Stanley Cup uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, series, they travel around and they have the cup uh, in the off season, and they return it after that. They have uh, one off season to, to each player on the team okay. gets to spend a day with the uh, Stanley Cup. Okay, well, I feel like it should be worth more than six hundred fifty. Pineapple Express says Steve Stone still does the games for the Chicago White Sox. Navy That's Devil says traitor. the best way to fight a bear is with your bare hands. Ah, man, you know what? We're going to remember yeah. this, and you got a five minute penalty going into yeah. next show. Yeah. Bare hands in that the bear has your hands now. They're his hands. Yes. Yeah, He's they're not yours. your hands. Yeah. It's an hors d'oeuvre. Mm-hmm. King of Kittens says, I love you guys for 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's he says. I'm still around. That's awkward. Yeah, what a way to the end the show, huh? All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for one hour at three o'clock. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580 The Fanatic.